a green. I'm hitting retweet. Um, make sure that we're not streaming back into ourselves because we get that weird loop. Okay. Smart. You changed the title and stuff? Cool. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hello. This week, we are going to be finishing up Vanquish, a game that we didn't think we'd be streaming this much of, but it turns out the new is really fun. It's really fun to go fast. And, and shoot things. Oh yeah, we're not getting sound. Yeah, no. I was just also making sure that we had the right settings. Okay. So shall we go in? Let's get started. In finishing. So do you remember what important things were happening in the plot? Uh You've got a... space. Oh. Some... Somebody's not toned on. Okay. So... None of it was business. We were fighting Russians in space. I remember that part. Oh, what? Are we Wait. on the big robot? Or did we just... What Something's is... moving big. Okay, I... You just went up an elevator and now you're on top of the big robot. Okay. And you can slightly tell because there's signs in Russian. All right, so plot so far, you work for some kind of DARPA thing. You work with the dude who built a giant uh, populated space station and beams microwave power back down to America. Uh, it was taken over by like one Russian dude and an army of robots. And we got one cutscene revealing that Hillary Clinton was in advance contact with him. Uh, but we don't know what that means Space yet. Space Hillary Clinton. Space Hillary Clinton. Or Spillery Clinton, if you will. I guess technically Hillary Clinton is not in space, but she's in the future, so everything's space. Yeah, that's what happens in the future. We will never forget what happened to Space San Francisco. I think it was actually Earth San Francisco. Right, but remember, future. If you think about it, Earth is in space. Can I ride this? No. What about this? You take an elevator? <laughs> That's how they do it at DARPA. This game feels like it was too lazy in its writing to even have MacGuffins. Like so often it's just like, go to the place. What's at the place? I don't know. We haven't really explained that. Yeah. You need to get to your next objective. Ultimately, you are at some point trying to find the guy you work for who built the space station and you're trying to find the guy who's been controlling all of this. But also, you've had to go fight the guy who's been controlling all of this. So he's coming to you and then running away and you're still going after him? I mean, there is very much, you know, like this roller coaster style of... Um, like, game structure that... Is like, fine so long as you're not thinking about it, but... There's just like not enough distinct going on here, and yeah. that's why we're noticing. Yeah, it's really weird because like I like feel otherwise like... it wouldn't be a problem. It's just like we're we don't feel like we made any progress because everything looks the same except for like oh that's one a or big two boy. really cool set pieces. Oh no, the big boy found me. It the big boy set that me on fire. That boy's way too large. You should it... be going new. It wouldn't really be hard. I can't until I stop being on fire. <laughs> oh well. Oh, yeah, this is a great time to... <laughs> oh, I, f I forgot that it, you have a last minute thing. You I thought I was actually dead. Thing. Give that back. <laughs> it's been just long enough for me to forget some of the key Remember the little... gimmick of this game? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're doing something cool, including dying, it goes slow. Dying's cool. I've been yeah, thinking just, a lot like about. Oh, oh, I was just in response to something in chat. I've been thinking a lot about making a game set in Neo Oakland. Hmm. It can't be set in Neo San Francisco because 
San Francisco will be destroyed completely by autonomous corporations. Sorry, you were saying? Um, like there's ways of doing this sort of roller coaster design that feel like distinct and interesting as yeah. you're going from place to place. Like the there's a lot I don't like about the um, the Nathan Drake games. Um, what's Uncharted. The Uncharted. But they're very good at here mm. is a MacGuffin that takes you to an interesting place, that takes mm. you to the next scene, that takes you to a MacGuffin. So the um, really absurd thing here is that they've got just a really clear way they could have done this, which is that they've been established, they've, in this last act, they've established you're going to the big tower. So like, they could have just said that from the start. They could have just said, you see that big tower? You gotta get there. And then the entire game, you could be getting closer and closer and you could maybe see that you're getting closer and closer to the big tower because they've got this nice big skybox. But yeah, no, having a, a big weenie yeah. is definitely helpful. Like, I think they're like, trying to do that, but in practice, like we just like are not latching on to whatever the fuck they're trying to draw our attention to. And the and well, but also because they, they keep like do like they keep mentioning that we do have objectives, and yeah. I just like have no idea what they are. They do a thing at all. They also do a thing where they um, a lot of the time the skybox is sort of like glared away, so like even if the tower was there, you wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah, the art direction, this is very much, there was a lot, not a lot of distinctness. Yeah. That's my goal. But it is like, I think uh, like after the fact, you'll be able to plot. I think you can go over onto the other side that you're going back now. Um, okay, something just happened. Oh, okay. I was just waiting for something to happen, apparently. Oh, that was nice. You were waiting for the, uh, moment. you were waiting for the Russians to send down the elevator so you can come up and just kill them, I guess? I don't know what he said, sorry. This will come in handy. Oh. This will come in handy. He's talking about you. Oh. Like I don't know. I think I think at the end, if we went back and like charted out our progress, you'd be able to see like, oh, we were gradually moving to this one place the entire time. But like, I'm okay. certain they have an idea of what's going on. I just don't know what it is. They're definitely upping the roller coaster spectacle stuff now. Yeah. Possibly having a city map that you actually can mm. see at some point might yeah. be, give you a little more sense of that. It would still help to know how he knows where he's going. Also, just why? Like, it just it feels yeah. like it's often you're going to piece of infrastructure that they have not fully explained the purpose of. Well, I think they're possibly worrying about it too much. Like. There, there are like explanations for like why we're going places. Like, who cares? It's not. I don't need to know that they jammed access on the. Uh... About half the time. Which like they're such completely uninteresting. Yeah. Like, like they're like, oh, we need places... to take this hill. Why? Even think about games that have places that feel very samey. Like Metal Gear Solid Two feels very samey. But this a sense of momentum to moving through it because of the plot stuff that's happening in it. That's true, but I feel like it also helps that like that's not trying to be like the roller coaster. Yeah, no, it's true. That's like a big oh. space that you're like methodically going back and forth around. There's also a thing where like um Oh that's cool. Very Eva. Yeah, I guess it's not that there aren't MacGuffins, but the MacGuffins are all military technical jargon. Right. Yeah, Which like, just we just keep saying jargon, I just, like, I... It's trying to, like, convey something, and it's not quite landing. It doesn't really... Even when it tells you what you're doing, it doesn't tell you why you care, right? Like, you don't really know what your logistical goals are, or... I don't think either of those things matter, though. I think the mm. problem is that it's, like, it's not interesting. Like, sure. it's just boring. That's definitely a problem. Like, you don't need to, like, give the, like, player stakes in it. The player does have a stake in it. It's just, like, you know, it's not fun. Sure. I guess I'm just thinking about, like, so, like, really, really early on, um, you reveal that you have secret mission orders that, um, what's-his-name doesn't. But they don't actually tell you what they are. There's something to do with like rescue the guy you work for. 
but that's also yeah. kind of like such an obvious I secret that that order. Even happened because yeah. so many other jar jargon moments <laughs> have happened since then. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be like a mystery that is maintaining like tension, but because we have so little stakes yeah. or understanding of the world, it doesn't. Yeah. Hold on. It's also like, what kind of secret is that? It's like, oh, so the DARPA guy who reports directly to, uh, what's his name? Shit. Was actually trying to rescue what's his name the entire time? I never would have guessed. They're also going way out of their way for all of the enemies to be literally interchangeable robots. Wait. Wait, what? Oh my god, I missed what was going on here. <laughs> Why isn't the rest of the game like this? <laughs> it's the first personality we've seen in I'm seven so hours. I'm so confused. I'm not used to anything remotely... <laughs> the one thing that... God, this game needed more of this. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was complaining there was nothing to really identify the Russians as Russian, but here we go. <laughs> this is more disco, though. I don't, don't know if... I mean, the question is the ones the closest to you squatting. Uh... For the audience. I'm trying to get close enough to see without them noticing me. That's what the stealth button's for. I'm just gonna leave them. Like, they they're not, seem like they're having a good time. Not bothering. They're not bothering you. Where do I have to go? <laughs> Wait, it's the ro it's one of the robots that. Oh my god, it's one of those cover robots. Fiona says to shoot the radio. I don't know if that's a serious suggestion or a joke suggestion. I think you should give it a shot. Ugh. Aww. Aww. That was not good advice. Are we the baddies? I mean, you must be the baddie if you're trying to reduce the amount of disco in the world. And you killed the 7-up spot in the last stream, so now you're irredeemable. <laughs> I guess we're not technically in the world. We're reducing the amount of disco in space. I really like, it's totally glitching out here, but this thing of if you take out their legs. <laughs> yeah. They turn into suicide bombs. It's good. It, this is not the first time we've seen it glitch out like that, though. Yeah. Oh, There's... man. It's a cover shooter, and you're trying to take out the cover. Yeah, I like these cover robots. Yeah, as we've said before, the, uh, the enemy design in terms of like how they work mechanically is really good. Yeah. In this game. Oh, you should upgrade that sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Forgot that was what. Really weird. I don't know. Is anyone complaining about that? No, and okay. it's running fine for me at that person. Uh, do the people watching have access to. Oh, hey! Oh. Friends back! Uh, wait. I guess we know how to the cheat now, right? This actually is in a very different room than the last time we had to... Uh, it's different enough, I think. Okay. You gonna use the uh, grenade smaller, trick? Right? Oh yeah, the grenade. Oh. Ah, I see you're gonna use the get your spine torn out trick. Do I have a get trick? Yeah, I'm gonna try some Japanese for this. Someone says, uh, of course you would have a disco ball attack. Oh. 
Can we just go on to the next room? I don't no, think the, the elevator the... goes up. Try shooting them and leaving the disco music playing. And then hide. Aww. The music stops whenever you murder. It's like they half understood what to do with this scene. Because what you really want is to be able to shoot them, get into a fight while disco music plays. Exactly. Right, exactly. Fight the boss the disco. Oh, that's a good entrance that I missed. There orb. it is. Go slow to orb. That's the grenade trick. Uh, maybe they fixed the grenade trick. <laughs> Um, it was said it blasted off all of its armor, but apparently oh. it doesn't. Well, you're using the... Um... That was an EMP grenade. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's regular grenade just was to use. I thought it was EMP grenade. Oh. I don't know. I mean, the EMP grenade... I don't know anything, but... Oh my god, what? Why is that his grenade animation? I got down like one third of its health just from that one EMP grenade. No, it wasn't an EMP grenade at all. It wasn't? No, I never hit him. No, you, you hit him I with I have the... not hit him with a single grenade. He was hit by the EMP, it has a really large radius. He was hit by the EMP grenade and then shooting him while he was EMP'd was yeah. highly effective. He was definitely glitching out from the EMP. Yeah, that's him glitching out for the EMP. Okay. Can I try it again? <sighs> yeah, his grenade, like, I'm not sure how we're triggering it, but he's doing a football throw when we <laughs> throw a grenade. This whole one-hit kill on an enemy that appears in the second half of a long and not particularly difficult scene yeah, why it's not checkpointing right after you kill these guys. It seems a little silly. Big Red Coat says this game is super bad at having you run out of ammo at exactly the wrong time. Bad people. Would you like... Here. Hey, what's the left B gun do to that thing? Oh, that would actually be really good for this fight. It would fight. be extremely good in this fight. Christine, would you like uh, exit overheat mode suggestions? What? Would you like me to yell, like, release whenever you're about to run out of... No. Okay. <laughs> I really like this enemy. Yeah, it's really good. Destroy the unknown. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a lot less space to get away from its one yep. hit attack here. Go slow mo. Shit, that wasn't the weapon I wanted to have out. Yeah. Basically, I think you want to be firing anytime the orb is out. Or. I like when it's a little one running around with all the stuff falling behind and it looks like it's like a kid running around <laughs> in its like, parent's bathrobe. 
Ah. Oh. Bigger Code asks if the switch of guns animation is faster than the reload animation. I think it probably is. I keep forgetting. Yeah, it has the switch guns to reload faster trick. Which also works in Metal Gear. Huh. I think it's a common... Um, yeah, EMP to frag might be a good idea. I'm not sure. Common bug that I think a lot of games just keep in as high level play. Since it is like interesting and skillful to like yeah. switch between yep. those quickly. It also kind of makes narrative sense a little bit. Only if you've got a hand in your pocket that is reloading the gun while it's in your pocket. You've got a point. Well, in, in this world, your gun is transforming into another gun that's already full of bullets. Yes. <laughs> Which only raises Help. further questions, actually. Like, why do you need to do anything at all to reload? Don't worry about it. I'm worried. They've managed to, like, create a world based on 3D printed guns, which has all of the disadvantages of just regular guns. Yeah. Do not even worry about it. I want to just imagine that little, like, sphere version dude just tossing these down. <laughs> oh, nice. Interesting. And pretty effective. Mm. Oh, shit. You really have to watch your overheat in this because. I just it's didn't think he was that to, close. Yeah, it's your only way to dodge him. Just because he has like such a weird, uh, yeah, weird shape. Well, the U.S. Um, military actually draft people who are too injured to play football. What does it mean to be enlisted to DARPA? I thought DARPA was just a grants agency. Things have changed in space, DARPA. Hmm. That's space stuff, huh? Um. Not what I was after, but it'll do. Also, what's the command structure of the robots, and why are they so slow to respond to threats? Reloading animations are actually good at all, or if they should just be abandoned as a concept. I think they are good, and we should have more good gimmicky ones like we used to have. <laughs> there was definitely a period of the like. Really good, like taking out your gun and putting it away and idling with it and such animations. How do you reload the chicken in Hexen? Like Sorry? <laughs> There's a chicken gun in Hexen, right? It's a wow. staff, technically. Mm. Um, How that it's magic. I'm not actually sure the LFB gun is really turning out to be all that effective. It'd be good if you weren't doing all of the other stuff that lets you hit the core. <laughs> it also, it also, that thing can move really quickly and the LFB gun moves really slowly. Yeah. Oh, no, that makes some sense. Oh, that went great, oh. actually. Okay, that's where this to use it. Fun. I think you upgraded the LFB gun. I did. Cool. Yeah, kill them, and then wait for this. It's not a great checkpoint spot. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever... That was a decent chunk. That uh, didn't do anything. Uh, oh, wait. It did, off of the top. Yeah. Uh, not as good as last time, but not enough. Oh, well, it takes a good chunk of health off. The fact that you can shoot him from behind yep. cover is turning out to be pretty great. Yeah. 
given that his melee is... Let's hit him with that. That's again the thing with just the core of this game being incredibly well designed. Like, interesting weapons, interesting enemies. Yeah. Um, I'm trying I to... love that it uses cover during that part where it's yeah. Yeah. farming too. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I've ever played a game where you had to think about reloading. Most of the shooters I've played are the, like the really like old, old shooters. Gears of War actually has a reloading mini game. Oh, oh yeah. Where you're reloading at the right time on sort of a little like mini game meter. Yeah, that um, seems really smart. Gets you more armor. Or more sort of more bullets or more powerful shots. Uh, I can't I remember. I haven't played Gears Why? of War, but I've played quite a bit of Mercenary Kings that has a similar thing. Mm. And because it has it has gun building in that where you build your guns out of parts. Like yeah. as you rebuild your gun you have to learn new reload timings and you get more or less uh, like extra bullets because it'll, it'll give a bonus to only one of the sort of rows of bullets in your thing. It's quite neat. Take that jerk. Actually I'm Please having a, a lot of point. trouble figuring out how that makes any sense at all diegetically. The reloading thing? Yeah. It Who doesn't cares? Need to. Like, oh yeah, it's no, cool. No, not at all. <laughs> the the So the gun's a chainsaw? <laughs> oh yeah, in good gears of war. <laughs> yes. Want me to take this thing out? Not in mercenary right. games. <laughs> then what do I do? Run. Hey. I don't plan on blowing up with this thing. Bravo 6. I've rescued the Marines and I'm heading back to the transport ship. We need that laser out of commission now. Pick you up when it's done. I guess we're fighting a laser? Like, that's the thing. It clearly has a clear idea of, like, what our objectives are. I just... It does a very bad job of presenting it. It's just never sold them to me. Hmm. Like, they could, this is one of the things they could be doing with the cutscene, is show us the big thing that we are going to, to destroy. I think the problem is, like, nothing that they're doing is quite interesting enough. Like, sometimes they latch onto something that's, like, a really interesting set piece, but mostly they're kind of indistinct. But no, even here, though, just, like, if they had been, like, we're destroying that laser and... I mean, like, I think it might have showed it to us before, we just forgot because... But give it, give it a actual cutscene where they zoom in on it while talking about it. Someone in chat was mentioning a couple of games that have made reloading interesting by making you lose the remaining ammo that you have in the clip. Oh. Um, <laughs> kinda... Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, and it, it was similar, but in another direction, the, the Resident Evil uh, Revelations that I was playing, you can't unload guns. So there are multiple guns that take the same type Oof. of ammunition. Mm. So once you load it into a gun, you're committed to using it in that gun. Interesting. Okay. See, that sounds more interesting in Resident Evil, where which is like a series where like running out of ammo is a really big problem. Yeah, as you opposed did, to just oh, like, I guess I switched to the other gun. If you now. decided to load all of your bullets into the like low powered pistol instead of the high powered pistol, mm -hmm. and now you have no more pistol bullets. Yeah, it can be an interesting trade off. You know. The way they explained this early on is that once you're in, if you get hit when you're in overheat, you die, but you can take a lot of bullets when you're in overheat. <coughs> I feel like given the amount of noise you're dealing with on screen, it kind of has to work that way. Yeah. I like this thing where you have to come out of cover to use the... Oh, you probably have to use the big gun on something. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Isn't Elena's entire job to figure out what to sh what I'm supposed to be shooting? It looks like a laser. I think the conduit had help when you shot it. No. 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 Yeah, I don't know what I'm... Maybe you uh, what are those? bombs on it? What are the oh, bombs? Oh, I see. Oh! Whoa. 
Whoa. <laughs> hey, that's cool. I'm going to unplug the laser and all the laser will spill out. Fire pipe released. Just gonna spill all the laser juice all over the floor. Oh, that makes sense. They're often focusing on people's faces when they're telling us about things. Mm. Um, mm. So, like... Like, I get why they're proud of their faces, I just... But, like, if they were, while talking about the laser thing, show that thing that you had to yep. walk up and destroy... But also, it's just not actually that interesting. Oh, it's not interesting. It's just that, like, you could at least get the sense of what your objective is, which I don't think they're even managing to do that well. Hey, can we talk about this thing that just happened? <laughs> Take my hand! <laughs> oh, it's the forest from, uh... Wonder Project J2. Bro, take my hand, bro. Let's go find the total god. Bro! Private Daniel Grassi, MSOB2, sir. I was stationed here so I can take you to the enemy positions. Lead on, right? <laughs> this way, sir. He is never going to smoke that cigarette, ever. What? Oh. We're in a new act. What does this mean? All I like that is the sense. fact that yeah, we're finally a in a new area. Okay, that's fair. That actually looks legit. You should probably swap that boost machine gun for like anything different. Which one's the boost machine gun? The bottom one that isn't upgraded at all. Okay. Anti-armor pistol's good. First I should upgrade it, though. Yeah, upgrade it and I mean, throw it away. Well. This is gonna be fun. Huh, it changed... Wait. No, you just... Oh. You just dropped you it. You loaded both. This is a... Wait, 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 no. The... You picked up one, and then you picked up the other. You want... Oh, okay. You want the anti-armor pistol, I think. That's my opinion. This is going to be a pretty great setting for firefights. Can you see the building in the distance? No, you just put an overlay Absolutely of my not. vision. They're showing it in that thing there. Take the elevator and head towards it. All right, you lead the way. All right, so like it's very simple. Get to the center tower. Great. Okay, no, now go to the dam. Why do you have a dam in a spaceship? Well, they clearly need some irrigation if they've got this forest in the middle of the spaceship. I was gonna say this is actually really interesting. You can like be shooting from behind trees, but actually all the trees are <laughs> out. You're in like a little bucket and all the trees are off to the side, so I don't know. There's some trees in amongst and stones. Remember, it's a halo pistol. You can zoom. Oh yeah. A bit, not as much as the Halo pistol. Yeah, that cylinder. thing was bonkers. And zooming just doesn't feel as good because it's not as fast moving. Go, go, go. Whoa! Fast boy. And not to slow down time. Or we'll shoot him in the legs. Come on, let's get some noom. <laughs> This will come in handy. Okay. And remember how to slow down time. There we go. Matt and Chad is raising the possibility that really what you ought to do is just stay on the opposite side of the cylinder from the person you're fighting and snipe them from there. See, that would be an amazing use of an O'Neill cylinder in a cover shooter. This entire game is basically like, what if you had a city in an O'Neill cylinder. I don't know what. I don't know either. Okay. Blood, blood. 
Oh, bitches. What did he... Whoa, okay, that thing has a good gun. Is that the sniper <laughs> rifle? Need to go rescue my bro. Give him some juice. Have some juice. My ass was you should use up the anti-armor pistol and swap it out for a rocket launcher. That's my opinion. Haha, <laughs> got him. Adjusting where the camera is? Get that guy who's putting you down. Him? You should noom. I think there's one more guy. I can't noom. There's a noom retardant gate. But it wasn't the halo also like the size of Earth's entire orbit or something. Oh my god! <laughs> because it's circular, if you do the move around cover while in cover. Stop doing ring around the rosy and shoot the guy. I'm sorry. I'm just loving this. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Hey, where is the guy who's shooting at us? So in Halo, don't you spend the entire game underground? Uh, yeah, I guess you go underground pretty quickly. It is also a game that does not do a great job of, uh, like, feeling like you're visiting a bunch of unique places. Mm. Yeah, that, that is true. I think during development it was actually originally going to be like a multiplayer shooter in the style of Tribes. That makes sense given some of the environments. Yeah. Nice. Oh no! Oh! You just destroyed your own ride, man. I'm a fool. It burns. If your gun is so big, why can't you hit anything with it? The reticle was in the right place, but unfortunately, he was in front of you. Oh. Whoa. The LFD gun would be really great in a cover heavy area like this one. I love those little guys. Yeah, Good. probably would. I'm gonna. I'm an American. <laughs> Very realistic uh, writing on the American characters here. <laughs> you can't shoot me. Oh no. Oh yeah. It's the mole twins. Can, can you just take them out this enti their entire battle like this? It, this doesn't do too much damage to them, oh. I don't think. What I want to do is... Line them up! Yeah, all of the uh trying to get them in the line so I can hit them both. No, it's good to knock them down. Yeah. Remember, knocking them down, then you can shoot their weak point. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to remember all of the controls. Okay. Not quite as far away as I wanted to be. Yeah. Maybe you should noom backwards. Unnoom! Unnoom! Man, it would be really cool if one of those things just knocked down a tree. 
Oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Were you using that spine? What spine? There's just a fine spine flavored paste. <laughs> There's your problem. You got gophers. And maybe the problem is that every time they make a ring world in these games, they're too big. Mm. In like a small ring world. Yeah, so that you could actually do weird. I mean, I can perhaps understand why something doesn't actually want to make a world sized. Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm actually kind of wondering now how Whoa. they decided. There's some serious weird psychedelia on the screen there. The great quote says, I just think the drill guys are enormously irresponsible. Oh to yeah, right, they can drill. God, I just cannot hit anything with a grenade ever. You're supposed to really slow down time and shoot the grenade. Can you shoot your own grenades out of the air? You can explode them in mm. slow-mo. I guess not in slow-mo also. Just that it will be easier in slow-mo. Did not realize they also had rocket punch. Makes sense. to take out these Gorlagan motherfuckers. Oh god. It's a bad time. Do you think it's a, they're like kind of, do you think it's a problem they kind of like incentivize recklessness by making it so that like as long as you survive any 12 second period it doesn't matter how many resources you burnt? I think it's good because recklessness is fun. Let's see. Legit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like the rhythm of this is a mix yeah. of like recklessness and carefulness, recklessness and carefulness. I mean, I think that's exactly what the Neum is trying to encourage, is like being kind of... You're in a forest and they're telling you to proceed to the elevator. The dance facility is up ahead. Go through it and you've got another elevator you can use. I'm almost there. Enemy RIs seem to be readying for a siege and have the place locked down. These RIs are starting to get on my goddamn nerves. An RI. Those red what the robots are called? I see. They've been calling them that the entire time. RIs! RIs or RIs? He's just trying to get our eyes out of you. It'd be really cool if you could like, just be like constantly knocking down the enemies and then your other party members were DPSing. Figure out, see what we missed. It's a disco band that makes them dance. Yeah. A Danga Rampa puzzle shooter had that. Huh. Whoa. Does that guy have an LFP gun? Now he doesn't have any gun.
shit. It's a weird thing with the art style of this game, where like there's almost too much high contrast detail on everything. Yeah. Like yeah. looking at that bark, it goes from like the lightest light practically to the darkest dark. Yeah, that is true. Um, it's part of why like stuff doesn't stand out as well as it could. Well, I feel like in general everything is too detailed. Like I feel all like the all the buildings and stuff are just like. I feel like that's pretty very common. indistinct masses. I feel like a lot of AAA like games from this period were like this. Yeah, no, it's they're doing a lot of oh, grass. color filter stuff that like causes that to happen. Yeah, I really need a low res remaster. Yeah, to, nice. to really make it shine. I was gonna say, I, this entire game I felt like this could have been a PS4 game until we got to this forest. They're not dealing as well with the organic textures. Man, I bet grass is just really hard to render. Totally friendly. Good. Apparently. Lock the door. We're going in. Not what I was after, but it'll do. Oh, I could have gone under here. This is definitely always the problem of, like, you... When things encourage you to play kind of cautiously, then you realize that there is, like, an entire part you could be... I think a good thing is to do, like, of. a reconnaissance noom. Yeah. Then come mm -hmm. back and figure out what you're actually gonna do. Well, I thought I was, like, already, like, overextending myself, but apparently I could have been extending overextending myself much further. They could have, like, put that on the radar somehow. Well, the radar isn't exactly legible at all. Mm. Doesn't really give you a clear sense or this is gonna be fun. Any kind of sense of anything really. I bet you're gonna want to run back to that in about ten seconds. Have a look oh look look up yeah. what people were saying. Oh. oh that's pretty cool. That's nice. It is unfortunate that it takes a moment for it to even happen, so if you're doing a quick sweep over, yeah. you won't see it. Also, have a look at the grass. Curious. Oof. Oh, it's being done. I mean, they were conf confident enough in it to put in a lot of it. Well, that was probably pretty impressive at the time. Like, Wait. Look at like, yeah. how the lighting is changing. Yeah. It's just That's... adjusting the contrast to... Yeah. Your eyes kind of do that. Um, That's cool. I wish there's more of that effect. No, it's, it's, that it's effect been, is everywhere. It's been throughout the mm. game. Um, I think that it's was... It's just that it never gives you a reason to look up, so it never comes up. I think that well, I mean, not just in looking up, though. Both showed up in um, either Eco or Shadow of the Colossus on the PS2. It's going to be a while the sort of fake HDR. <laughs> So your mission, this particular segment is to fight from the first elevator to the second elevator and then wait for the elevator to arrive in a forest. the way I'm using a lock-on laser. Apparently, I didn't know this, Uncharted 2 has a next-gen filter that cranks up the bloom and makes everything stand out less. most remember noticing it on a small scale in I think was Half-Life 2 because that was the first game where I would be in a dark room and outside mm. would be like you I couldn't see anything outside oh, yeah. until my character's eye line passed the doorway yeah they were really proud of that in, in, I think in there was like an entire segment in episode one that was just designed to showcase that they could do that like you're inside of like a church and then the ceiling gets blown off or something yeah I think that was like honestly their big concept for episode one was bloom yeah I'm pretty sure I didn't make it to the episodes because I was too afraid of Ravenholm <laughs> <laughs> there's always sort of this problem in 3D graphics where as soon as they get an ability they like 
everyone overuses it. Yeah. Um, it's like when colored lighting first came to 3D. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything is like full saturation, sa saturated colored lighting. And then you saw when, like, it became easy to do in 2D engines. You started seeing lots of indie games and also, like, yeah. over saturated. Yeah. Um, and we talked a lot about that um, in that the game did it well with the remaster of um, the Dragon's Trap, which is one where, like, surprisingly, they're using it really, really subtly and nicely. Yeah. And then, yeah, when Bloom happened, everything had way too much Bloom. I guess just the wish, the thing that I wish that this had was, like, more clearly delineated foreground and background. Like, just anything to give me any idea where I should be looking ever? Yeah. Yeah, no, everything being hyper-detailed and hyper-contrast. Like, not just that there's detail, but that it's, like, going from the darkest dark to the lightest light. Occasionally... I just never know where to look. Yeah, it's not, it's really bad as a style for clarity. I wonder if there's a different bark if no one's caught outside when you start this mm. thing. How do you pronounce corpse? Or, yeah. Damn. I don't know how to pronounce anything. No, you pronounce it. Ooh, raw. <laughs> Something we were playing recently that had a really good lens flare. Was it Penal 3? Uh, I think it had good lens flares. Oh, um. I think, uh, um, Death Stranding, I think, has some J.J. Abrams style lens flares. Hmm. Although Death Stranding also has this game's problem of, like, there's usually some awesome stuff happening in the sky, but you're never going to see it. I feel like Death Stranding has a lot to make you look up, though. Hmm. Just like the fact that you'll be in high elevation and something yeah. looking over yeah. a low area. It definitely has like really well distinguished uh, like environments versus characters. Oh, and especially if you've got the HDR stuff. Oh man. It's super bright. Must have a thing for VIPs. Head for the control tower on the other side of the bridge. Easy for you to say. No, it's easy for you to say. You're the one who goes new. We've got to get to the other side, I think. And we're out of the interesting area and it's back to yeah. concrete textures. Um, but you're on the brink of something. Oh, there's a there's something with a life bar. Blizzard. Oh, mm, yeah. Is it the flying thing? Maybe. I feel like anything that has a life bar should have, like, an introduction that shows how cool it is. Okay. Unless they're warming up. Oh. <laughs> Stop Human. shooting your mans! Wait. How? Oh! I think you may have gotten a wee bit pincered there. Yeah. I was gonna say there's a really interesting thing that Death Stranding does to make people stand out even from far away who are enemies. Uh -huh. Is that they'll do a flash of light when you like scan past them. Uh -huh. um, that especially cool. if you've got an HDR TV is like really bright and it's obvious. So you like this nice. just you'll get like as you're panning past you'll see a red flash and know that there's an enemy. Yeah, they use the fact yeah. that everyone has a little light on an arm sticking out of their back to create oh, effect. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. And I then all of the infrastructure is that is a blue that is also like in the HDR range where you can't like it's sort of a hyper bright. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, okay. Is that the bu oh? 
That's kind of cool. That is oh. a mechanical design I like, but wish I had it again had less detail yeah. on it. You can tell it's an enemy because it's a big red square on the radar. Oh yeah, that's a radar! So the thing where every single enemy has the glowing red thing on their back, it would be cool if they explained the reason for that is that that's their heat sink, just like yours. Yeah, I really wish there was like more to it. Like, Any time that this game has an interesting... Give it like distinct visual, like give yeah. it like a distinct visual gimmick. Any time this game manages to stumble under an interesting concept, they bury it and then they have like seven scenes where Burns is like, I'm too American for this shit. Oh, then it throws a bunch of grenades out. Try using EP. One sec. You were right, I should. Well, that worked oh, great. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think the chat's right. I think maybe you fought one of these briefly on the train, because it could fly in. Mm. Mm. That's possible. That could have been a little harder. Yeah. It had a life bar and everything. The life gun. They call it an LFE gun because it's manufactured in Liffy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. That's cool. That's good. Like, ah, oh, the, the, the smoke. That's good. That's... Oh, I just like the dam. Wait. Oh, yeah, that is also good. Does it necessarily fall if smoke would rise on one of these things? Uh, I don't know. I feel like this one thing this is missing is just environmental um, establishing <laughs> shots. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think it would depend on how much atmosphere you put in. If you put in little enough atmosphere that it was actually the rotation holding yeah. the atmosphere to the walls, then it would rise. But if you just pressurize the whole tube, you might get some different effects, I think. Yeah. Like if it's... Hmm. But I mean, s smoke oh, rises... Another one. Oh. Smoke oh. rises even like in a room, and, and the pressure isn't that different. different Shoot that gold thing. Your left. Those things are pretty hidden. Like the frogs in Metal Gear Solid 3. Yeah, it's cool that it's like... Sh yeah, those are like the places that you've been that are now on fire. That's really cool. I do wish there was like... There were elements in them, those that like you could like... That like stood out as... Being recognizable. Is that good or bad? Yeah, I'm not actually sure why we're at the dam. I know we're going yeah. to the dam. <laughs> Maybe I can use this computer as cover? Sam has a smoking problem. He doesn't know how to smoke. So there is an objective marker. Oh, the exit. You need to get to the exit of the dam. Damn, why didn't I think of that? I don't have time for your DARPA jokes, Sam. Oh, 
Wow, the sound. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at the, uh, the whatever's to the right there. I like the weird, uh, horizon line here. Yeah. Mm. That's good. It feels like... I feel like this is the first time they've really, like, played up the, uh... Yeah. The cylinder. It also always feels like... Like, right now we feel like we're actually in the interesting parts that they show on the edge, but so many times we've looked and seen, like... <laughs> Like, it looks like most of it is, like, this cool, interesting, like, yeah. parkland area. Yeah, no, like, every time you look at that texture, it's much less developed than the actual environments that were in our... That's not how you stairs. It's absolutely how you stairs. So we went into the control room, which was about okay. to have a critical failure, and then we left the control room, but we didn't do anything about the critical failure. I guess not. Uh, whoa, okay, that was a great entrance for that. Hell yeah. It's like, something just walked over me. That sounds like what we in the Marines call someone else's problem. Can't, Can't shoot water, Sam. Oh wait, not one of mine. <laughs> no. There should have been like a really like comic moment where you both like got <laughs> up against each other, looked at each other, and like <laughs> and embraced. Here, I'll have one more go, and then I'll pass it back. I really wish that this. I feel like it would just help if the art style was just like more stylized, like mm. either more cartoony or like playing up the uh It just stomped on your head. <laughs> yeah, this is maybe a little bit too close to play with a giant spider. A memoir. Has there been a large man cover shooter where you can take the cover behind another large man? <laughs> no, man, but there should be. Man, that would be, be cool. Although I'm definitely now wondering, like, how much the War for Cybertron games are going to hold up in my memory because those were definitely, like, nothing but Greeblies and uh, colored lights. Oh, oh, I really can use some Yume. I'm here to shoot and that go was Yume not... and I'm all out of Yume. This did not put me in a safe place. Okay, I guess it was a kind of safe place. Oh, come on, that's cheating. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> Why is everything exploding? <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Shane, if you try shooting the Argus Core. Get out of the way. Okay, but actually get out of the way. Oh my god. You are killing me here. That was a really good shot of their uh, great sprite effects for impacts. But they're using some sort of water splash we followed. That's good robot juice. Yeah. I assume that's the same juice that he's pumping into those guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
you notice this thing where he's using his like millions of missiles attacks? They're just all going and bouncing off the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's pretty good. I guess it's just deliberately aiming them at, what, at whatever you're not. Oh, oh come on. on. That makes sense. We fought them as. It's true. Man, and then they become spiders, so why not spiders and they become mans? I think they've always started that. They always start as spiders? I can't remember. I think so. Mm, yeah, you're right. So I think the spaceship being named Providence is part of the same joke that has your doctor being named Candide and the evil doctor being named Pangloss. But I haven't read Candide. It's actually working pretty well. I'm just trying to get rid of the ammo so I can pick up this grenade launcher, this rocket launcher. I think I'm actually hitting the core, though. No, but you're doing a good job of damaging all of the parts. What? Wait, help? what is it? Uh. Well, that's that fine. That was definitely a new move. <laughs> They're just like, oof. You can probably slow mo and shoot some of the stuff that's firing out. Time Whoa! Or I can just nice. shoot him in the ore. Or... Oh, it sure yeah, does. I was about to say. <laughs> well, now we know. I think we loaned that before and then unloaned it. Oh, it's doing that thing again. And knowing it's half the battle. You just ate it in the face last time and it really didn't hurt you very much. No, I definitely did not eat it in the face. Okay. It was... It hit the cover. I was very lucky. Oh, okay. I love how many different speeds of missiles will come out of the same enemy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cutscene. Quick time event. Time to do something cool. Great large enemy. It's just the way they stumble around from being caught in different spots. It's so good. Oh. Stop using your arm as armor. Come on. Saying, that looks bad and oh. dangerous. Oh. Just slow battles. Back to level one. So I was just hitting square to go undercover. <laughs> oh 
come on, you're not even real. Okay, let's not do it that way. <laughs> I'm not noticing those noir in between the uh... Yeah, because it like goes away too quickly to read. Like even I can't read that quickly. Wonder if earlier on they had longer load times. Mm. Yeah. Well it's just weird that's not like a prompt, right? Yeah. Oof. Having a bad time here. Luckily we're recording all of it so you can go back and read it later. <laughs> yes. uh, no, we're just controls. like recording the same like top part again yeah, over and over again. You have to scroll down. They should do it like you know little Burma shave advertisements. They should do it like one word of lore per load screen. <laughs> You gun is good for this guy, right? If you think slow, yeah, because you can shoot him right in the core even when the core is not exposed. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you're being shot from the side? Oh, I sure am. I really want to know what that laser is actually supposed to represent. It shoots a laser. There's like a bunch of heat rising from it, then it explodes. Yeah, that's, that's not that's not an LFP. I don't understand what's going what what I fucked up there. You but I your definitely LFP. fucked something up. I think what we can gather from that is that the whatever they use to pave their roads with, once it reaches oh, a certain temperature, use the, it causes a delayed explosion. Definitely use the rocket launcher on that. I feel the rockets is like a big chunk of help for. Oh. There's another rocket launcher there, and I the LFE gun's still back where you picked it up first. Oh yeah, I could just pick it up again. Is there another fucking Russian robot? How many of these guys are there? Too many Russian bots. <laughs> something something 2016 election. Christine, what if you're just calling everyone you don't agree with a Russian robot? Oh, right. The range is really limited. Yeah. But you don't need to be in this mode to hit. Like, it doesn't need to be down. You can hit it right now. Oh, can yeah. I? Yeah, yeah it goes through idea. stuff. That's the whole deal with oh. it. Oh. I wasn't sure if, like, the hitbox even existed while I was. It does. Someone mentioned that really early on when we first were fighting it with the anti-armor pistol. Hmm. I think you had to hit it somewhere specific though. Yeah, I don't think that's working. Yeah, maybe the 
I don't think that hitbox exists until it. I think you can hit the like the red thing on the back. But I think the hitbox for like the weak, like the actual damaging point thing doesn't exist until you. Until Park is injured. So most of these cool QTEs feel really well motivated, but this one feels a little arbitrary. I really wish you could flip through the, uh, the missiles like you could in Final Number 3. That was really cool. Just deeply satisfying. Yeah. like half a health bar. Yeah, now I just need to not die. And... Nice. That's not gonna... Its armor is too heavy. Oh. That doesn't do much damage. Oh, yeah. nope. Guess it depends on the angle. I, I think for the purposes of hitting the core with it, it's oh. only the middle okay. of the... Uh... Of the where that does a lot of damage. Safe. Is here safe? Uh, maybe you just want to be moving. Or nope, cover safe. That was pretty arbitrary. That fits within the game's general vocabulary. Okay. Cover is safe. Just every once in a while, it isn't. So the stuff that does. Break I think that. that might be a like that hey, may not be intentional. You have two empty weapons. That's why I'm kicking open everything until I can find... Aha. Uh -huh. This game really wants me to have a disc launcher. Hey, did something happen to the dam? I'm sure it's fine. Not what it was after, but it'll do. There seems to be some damn stuff happening. I, th I think the not what I was after, but it'll do thing is if it's a low level... I know, okay. so therefore one that you've not made your preference versus whenever you pick up one that That'd you be have good, but I feel like I've bunch. seen it for like for other stuff too. I wanna check it. So far yeah. it seems to have checked out. Hmm. Oh yeah, that looks Oof. <laughs> Damn. You know, water in video games has gotten really good. Like in this generation. You can I'm just of... reminded of that yeah. for some reason, looking at this. Have you noticed when you look, I wasn't going to say anything, but have you noticed that when you like look out at the open lake, there's like a noticeable repeating pattern? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, it's yeah. less clear from this angle, but there have been a couple angles of uh, the real I think this angle. The farther is pretty... you look into the background, the more obvious it becomes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's also like a mid mapping problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where it becomes noise. I was watching some Trespasser again, and it's shocking to see the, the like 12 polygon dinosaurs and then drop something into the water and watch like proceed, like actual ripples spread out from the point where you dropped it in. It's, it's such a mismatch of <laughs> expectations. Yeah. <laughs> oh, orbs. The Trade Federation has betrayed us. I think the first time I saw water that like, really blew me away was Outcast, that weird software voxel engine based game in the 90s. Yeah. Which had like reflections and ripples and stuff and like that angle changing whether you could see through it or not. Mm -hmm. Something clearly really important is happening behind us, but they're not going to explain it. We're just going to go on to shoot another gate being guarded by some robots. Oh, wow, it's a whole bunch of those spear dudes. Yeah. Nasty. I'm gonna fuck up an orb. I stand I... corrected. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sonic just smacked you in the face. Uh, 
Well, that was unfortunate. Now I'm gonna die. Cool. <laughs> I've forgotten how to shoot things apparently. Use the boost to get through. Wait, wrong game. Oh. I'm sure you can, but it'll be pretty cool if you could LFE the orbs. I bet you can. Do I have an LFE? I'd like it if it, didn't, nope. if it didn't damage oh, you them, do. but you could billiard ball them off the side of the level. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, actually, oh, maybe really you effective. can LF you the orb. Damn. Yeah, they do not seem to like this. That was really effective. The trick is getting them at the right time. Yeah. If they're moving, it's way too slow moving to. Yeah. Oh, the anti armor also good against them, probably. I bet the anti armor is also good against these guys. So gotta zoom. Yeah, entirely I think understand the what the geometry is over there. There's like oh, an arch over the doorway. I think you might have, yeah, hop onto the ledge there. Just the distance that you can do the weird, like, snap to. What are you shooting at now? I'm not shooting at anybody. What's Burn shooting at? Eon you know and Chad oh. is saying they missed a chance to make weird looking water with rotating gravity physics. I feel like if I was doing this like I'd like instead of like having the dam burst like out into the into the dam again, like it should just be like a geyser going up, but then like it like hits the middle of the cylinder and then just like makes some kind of weird river. I'll take this. Wait, is this a new type of Oh no, no it's these guys again. Bad dog. Also bad dog. They're just so metal. Yeah, much too much metal from my personal dog tastes. I just feel like if I was making a game set in an O'Neill cylinder, you would never forget about it, ever. Yeah. Like, that's just giving you too much good stuff to work with. Public transit that is zip lines that go across the... <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. You could actually like use you the Z axis boom. as a shortcut when moving around. You get a big boom. Yeah, that's you what I was thinking. It, was like, it would be very efficient routes that wouldn't yeah. get in the way of any of the buildings. Yeah. It's just like one of those concepts that's so strong it just suffocates the air out of everything else because like you're just constantly thinking, hey, I'm in a cylindrical space colony. Why isn't that a bigger deal? Did you ever commit to how gravity worked on the Mahungla? Or have you pronounced it? Absolutely uh, not. Good thinking. I think it's actually not hurting it very much. Mm, yeah. Yeah. What's up? Oh. I feel like if you're doing science fiction and there's gravity Wait, on a spaceship. Do those. <laughs> the missiles hang out and then shoot lasers at you. Oh man. <laughs> the worst missiles. Oh my god. Why are there fins? No, turning? they're not missiles. They're R type options. <laughs> what? You know, like the things that fly behind you in R type. Okay. I know those are called options. That yeah. might be Gladius you're thinking of. Uh, I mean, I think they're called options in every... Really? Okay. In every game of that type. Okay. To the okay. internet. I mean, they are definitely options in Gradius. But... So I'm not sure about this, but I think that maybe, like... I don't think that they... It's an O'Neill cylinder because they wanted an O'Neill cylinder. I think it might be in, like, 
This is just a giant tube designed to house a laser, and they're like, maybe we could put houses on the outer edge. <laughs> yeah, I guess the feel like the thing is, if you have artificial gravity in... What hurts these guys? On a space I've station, on like a spaceship so or a space station or whatever, it should either be never acknowledged at all or should be the most important thing. <laughs> Possible they've got like a weak point that we just haven't identified yet? Yeah, I feel like there's some, like, there's something it's pointing. Oh. Well, that guy's nearly dead. The standing, like, the. Oh, one of them. I was like, I'm in cover. No. They're stupid little lasers. Are shooting me from behind. Okay. Let's just calm down for a moment. Oh, you can switch back and forth. I see. Pretty cool. Oh, between the two. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I need to use grenades on them more. Infinite, when you say shoot the stinger, are you recommending that for a particular reason? I think that is the weak point. It just. Oh, okay. Oh, the axe turns into the. Yeah. That's really cool. Like, I still don't like the style of how they are, but that's like a more interesting like design than a lot of the others have been. A lot of them like have interesting functional designs. It's just yeah. That, like, the way everything is rendered is just. And, like, well, I feel like right. it's often like, 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 design-wise in terms of like how you confront them, like as enemies, they're interesting, but they're not necessarily. Okay, one more time, and then I'm passing it to you. <laughs> sure. I don't know which of these is higher level because the ranking system confuses me. Guess this one has more dots. Yeah, stars are. Stars are good, I guess. I think at this point it's just ammo, though. Like, I don't think they do more damage. It appears that using the word option on screen and in the literature is a Gradius thing rather than an argument. Okay. Big Red Code suggests that uh, they might be called cores in our type. Mm. That sounds correct. Okay. I've never played an R type game, I've just played a bunch of Gradius. I R type's pretty good. Yeah, no, I've, I've I finished the Master System version of it back in the day. Is R type the uh, one that has multiplayer? No. No. Okay. Just let me take. Okay. Some cover. I just want some cover. See, I think they do have a weak point behind them. It's just that they move around so much more. And there's two of them. And they create their own cover fire. <laughs> So there's a really subtle thing going on in the scene where like the soundtrack, like the song has this sort of like phase effect in the background going like warp, warp. And like every time you go into slow-mo, almost everything drops out of the audio except for that one element. And I am pretty sure it was completely unintentional, but like that would be pretty cool if it were intentional. Like if you uh, if you design songs that like had like a loud trebly version when you're in like oh, wow, normal they speed. They recover from grenades really quickly. That was almost instant. 
So, so much for that, like, cheap trick. Okay. Right there, they're hit. Do the EMP grenades take down the, uh... And the backup. The options? Yeah, that's pretty... I don't think they do. Yeah, it ricocheted! <laughs> I attempted to shoot it. That's Oops. funny, but Wrong also, button. man, that's rough. No wonder I've been having such trouble with grenades. One of them's dead. Yeah, no, they dead. purposefully made them so that you need to shoot them with your gun to really make them effective. <laughs> they bounce off of everything, including enemies. In fact, there's always some little spiky thing getting in the way of me actually hitting. Oh, maybe not. You got him. got him. Maybe the spiky thing was the thing I needed uh. to hit. Oh. 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 Did you notice the thing where the axe goes through uh, cover, but only because it literally goes through the cover? I'm actually, I'm leaning, yep, yeah, I'm totally leaning off screen. That hits them and knocks them down, but does very little damage. That was pretty cool. Oh my god, how did that... Fuck. Oh, his blades come out and then, like, do a little scissor thing. So fast and hard to actually do damage to. Wait, is he healing it? No. Okay. Fast enough, plus their cover options. Um, means you don't really have a lot of time to regain your cooldown. Mm. Okay. Nice. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Harder than the boss. I mean, they were the last thing in the level, so were they the yeah, last? Yeah, maybe they were. Yeah. The arcs of these levels are sometimes a little unclear to me. Is there another LFE gun in the corner you can... Yeah, there definitely is. Yeah, see, that was oh, like that's my right. most highly upgraded weapon. My theory is wrong. Maybe what he means is that he doesn't approve of using guns to solve problems. <laughs> Sorry, I just really like this cartwheel. Yeah, no. <laughs> We 
It's like these little things are supposed to be giving us a sense of yeah. the world, but they're doing a bad job of it. The really so. small, fuzzy images. Then we'll just figure it out when we get there. Do you think you're gonna do a maneuver in this level? Get out of the way. There's your phones for making little dingies. I wonder if you actually don't have any mission objectives and you're just wandering from building to building hoping eventually you'll find something important. We're like supposed to be getting that guy, aren't we? I'll take this. Yeah. You know, the guy. But we don't know where he is, so we're just gonna check every single building one by one. The hellways are we checked? This area we're entering has big caution signs implying that we're going somewhere important, but they didn't tell us what this building is. It's got more, inter like, more interesting architecture than some of the other places we've been. It is. Like some neat, neat arches and destroyed bits and interesting angles. You know, really what we should have been focusing on this entire time... Yeah, it doesn't time, have any points of interest. This is true. What we should have been focusing on this whole time is trying to disable the giant uh, San Francisco laser's ability to fire. Maybe it Why takes... are all my guys just ignoring this guy? <laughs> I was like, oh, they're going somewhere important, so obviously there can't be an enemy right in the way. Well, all the lights on that guy were green. How are they supposed to know he was an enemy? I'm not really sure how to go about that. This game should track how, what percentage of game time you spend overheating. Maybe it does in that scoreboard. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if it's going to track deaths, I feel like the amount of time you spend overheating is a good measure of like how yeah. skillfully you're playing in some ways. Well, I don't think it would make sense to score you on it because there's lots of situations where you like... It's the right thing to do is to use up all of your... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or Honestly, eat. I should reward you for being in death longer. Yeah. Just be constantly edging death. Well, I think it's never good to use up your slow-mo until you hit um, overheat, but going into overheat because you've been bullet sponging might make more sense. Uh, die! Oh, come on! He did what you asked him to. The little man is dead now, Christine. <laughs> Just as you wished. <laughs> This is interesting in just how good it is at knocking things back. That like, oh wait, huh. 
Oh, it got up and out of the way just before the explosion. Yeah, I killed it the first time by uh, knocking it down, then LFEing it into a grenade, which I think is pretty fucking cool. Stop shooting an American. Get out of the way. This is so gross. Oh, there's a sniper rifle here. I should be like taking pot shot. Oh, come on. I think he's yelling, don't fuck with me. You know, when you shot him in the unarmored head. to the next area is open. Oh. Well, I don't love this. Red. Red means recording. Somehow. This looks good. Where is he? He's right there. Nice. Finally fucking got him. You did it. Very nice of them to strap bombs to the outside of this tank. Very boy. Your death throw is whipping out the sniper rifle and hitting it in the neck. <laughs> That's scripted, or if it's actually. I think it might just be stuck, stuck on geometry. Yeah. Come on, that guy's still there. I really wish these allies like did anything at all. Just if I let a guy live that long, I probably want someone else to do it for nice me. Headshot. be annoyed at the amount this reuses bosses except that um i mean i don't I think like... that was a good recontextualization because like it didn't actually work yeah <laughs> but, <laughs> but in... it would have been like cool to try and like kill it while like dodging snipers in general it's the thing of like basically the bosses are just after, but it'll do tough interesting enemies and once yep. you yeah. use them and Going in like an easier to kill version later on. Yeah. I don't think totally there were any maneuvers in that episode. 
Yeah, you. I definitely don't feel like they were skimping. I more feel like they spent multiple times as much time as they would otherwise have spent on each of them. Yeah. So that they would yeah. be good every time. Oh, it's a, one yeah. of those yeah. things. Oh, yeah. One of those. The situation up ahead is hot, sir. We're going to need to stay frosty. <laughs> what do you mean, hot? <laughs> the enemy have turned the plasma complex into a lake of fire. Could blow us all to kingdom come. What's a plasma complex? Yeah. Anyway, and how is it not already a lake of fire? Praying. <laughs> Thank God I'm an atheist. Let's go. <sighs> Like, what do you think the odds are that they just bunch watch a ton of war movies and just wrote down every single line they thought like Possible. stood out? This way. Heading into the snow cone factory. Stay frosty. What? No, you're right. What? But you're you're not going through the damn complex here. Never mind. So a little bit I feel like the what's happening here is it's like it feels kinda like the design in Beautiful Joe, which I think is a linked team. This is gonna be fun. Slow. Like I feel like they're like saying like, okay, this level you'll fight you know, enemies, 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 and then uh you know, uh one of the ground hogs or whatever, and then later like, okay, now they'll fight two ground hogs, two spear dudes, and one of the First level bosses. Yeah, well, when your enemies are interesting enough, yeah. you can get away with that as a way. Yeah, like they might have, they might have just literally like, they might have just literally like diagrammed this on a board somewhere. Say like, okay, we should have a level that has these enemies followed by these enemies followed by these enemies or something, and then they just yeah, slotted it into these completely interchangeable levels after the fact. I guess this is kind of cool. I think we just caught a Car Colonel Burns dime. Whoa, what? What? Oh, it's Seth from Street Fighter 4. I was thinking Dr. Manhattan, but sure. <laughs> they interrupted your quip. They must be powerful. <laughs> Crystal Viper. Okay, is this an optical weapon then? Let's find out. Whoa, what the? That seems to have done something. I saw skeletons. Whoa. That is freaky. Cool. Okay, so definitely the LFE gun. LFE gun, then you shoot him like stun. Sure, it's fine. <laughs> well, okay. Was that okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh, nice! Finally. Not tungsten terrorists. 
It's the one named place we knew. <laughs> See, that's a good callback. That was like yeah. naturally distinctive and memorable location. Why do you want to fix this? Well, I don't think it really. Right now, we want to survive the robot it. Problem. Right now, they're just like, how do we survive it? Okay. Which actually, this is like a good motivation. Yeah. Here. This is what they should have been doing more. It's of something early distinctive. On. It's yeah. like it stays in your head. An event happened, and now they have to go to a place that makes sense for that event. And they gave us establishing shots of what was going on in the environment to make that important. What was it we were trying to do in the plasma factory if it wasn't blow the plasma containment tank? Um, well, it was only because we I killed that guy that we did that. I think we were worried about the plasma containment tank blowing. Yeah, I think maybe you were trying to figure, like, they, they saw there were robots down there, and they were like, that's a dangerous place for there to be robots, go deal with them. That's Shouldn't the we be... closest oh, I can get to. Oh, I want to see, I want to see out the window. Shouldn't we be trying to, harder to shut down the space station as opposed to making it keep working? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, there's a space battle going on out there, that's cool. That is cool. It's a lot. I don't know, that's what like just that. the, uh, the big, um, Oh, it's good! Isn't... It's good that like the five stars are going by because it's a rotating space yeah. station. Like they just remembered what the concept of this video game is. <laughs> oh yes, please zero gravity section. You're in a zero gravity zone. Take caution. Roger. I'll take this. Oh, cool. Oh. So that's... what it is, is it's... That's... It's not literally not gravity. a zero gravity, but... It's not zero gravity, but it's neat. I was yeah. a little bit hoping they would just be like, we're going into a zero gravity zone and nothing whatsoever would change. <laughs> this will come in handy. Shouldn't it be the... It... Not to like criticize this game's science, but I, like, isn't it the inside of the cylinder that's no gravity, not, 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 not the outside? I believe you're correct. I think that gravity should be the strongest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could imagine there being rings that spin and rings that don't spin, but yeah, they're establishing yeah. that this ring is spinning. Yes. Yeah. They they could have made it. They could have made it that there's a spinning ring inside a fixed ring. Right. But they just showed the stars spinning by, so problems. <laughs> Wait, I think I think you might be in a smaller ring? I think you might be on like the axis or something. I, I think they goofed. I don't think they have a clear concept of what's going on because the stars are moving beneath you but the ships aren't. Oof. Like... Wait, what? Look, the space debris is like fixed. Uh, okay, that's a little weird. That might make sense if the space debris fell off the ship. It doesn't make... Wait. No. 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 <laughs> Oh, so that, close! Oh. <laughs> that, at least you can see the Earth. I, I think this might only be fifty percent thought out. Like someone pointed out, hey, it's spinning. Have Shouldn't seen space them? be spinning? Whoa. And the person who got the order, like, was like, if you say so, but didn't quite understand why they were doing it. Your assault rifle is a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff now. <laughs> Can't wait for my gun to be pressing. Oh, wait, so this has weird gravity. You have, like, we have magnet boots? boots or yeah, something? Yeah, we have magnet boots. But, ah, yeah. But the magnet boots work on, on metal. Mm. 
magnet boots that work on glass. Problem solved. All right, so here's my pitch. Realistic shooter that takes place on like um, like a space station, like just like a really like small one, but like with centrifugal force. But if your bullets don't end up inside an enemy, they'll just go through. Oof. And after you've hit the same wall enough times, the game ends. Well, like at that point, like oxygen starts escaping, so you need to like get out of that area as quickly as possible. You know, I want to give them credit for using a color in this area. It's a very bold choice they have not made at any previous moment. It's true. This is, like, much more, uh... Blue. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say... For is blue. I, I feel know. like this is more interesting visually. Than yeah, this, this feels like an art designer was involved at some stage of the process. I like science fiction where they make a point that, like, on the space stations, they use a lot more uh, non-lethal things. Not because they have a lot of respect yeah. for human life, <laughs> but because there are less things that they can use without just blowing the place apart. Yes. Yeah. There's, um... God, what was the name of the book by the Martian dude? Artemis? Artemis, yeah. Artemis had this really good recurring thing about the uh, atmosphere within the moon base being something like 90% oxygen. And this really, really changing your priorities around certain things, like how do you weld? Or like the most dangerous contraband on the station is cigars. <laughs> Not because of Miguel, the look smoke. at the glowy thing. <laughs> oh, oh nice. That was our friend. <laughs> Haha, -ha, you think you're you like, oh, I don't have time for a cool effect. I need to look at some crates. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember what book it was I was reading, but yeah, they made, like there was a it was a, a feature of people who'd grown up on space stations was that they were all terrified of fire. Yeah. <laughs> or the um, Becky Chambers had a really good bit in her most recent book about uh, people who grew up on spaceships being terrified of silence because you should never hear silence <laughs> because you should always be able to hear like the HVAC running, for example. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that he's a little guy. Yeah. No, I like- I, I feel like it's good when like science fiction has little guys. I like that his debris <laughs> is just floating off. Oh yeah. I gonna say, haha, your power that you can walk on the ceiling is useless for now I too can walk on the ceiling. Gonna get behind my safety grate. <laughs> Bullets can't go through that. Gotta say, this strategy isn't very good. I really liked the first season of the <laughs> I've Expanse. I've gotten it more than half killed. Uh -oh. I, I was going for a thing where like oh. the obvious response would be this this strategy isn't great. Oh. And like uh. you'd be like groaning in anticipation. Instead I was but just then, confused by but you. But instead and I said <laughs> not very good, which was like a, a reversal of never mind. You know, actually Maybe the great was a good thing because he can't uh, do his one hit kill through it. That's why I was doing that. Yeah, I didn't realize you were trying to tell a joke. Are you still an award winning comedy writer? Miguel, I'm begging you to please, can we look at the effect? <laughs> I need to get things. Things are important. You're not going anywhere. One of the previous fights against this guy. Oh. Um, just like a result of the uh, of the physics. Oh shit! You found me. <laughs> <laughs> also, that I think only one of those it. shots actually connected. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll look at the thing. I'm looking at the thing, Christine. I feel like that's a pretty cool effect. It's the effect they've used every time they've teleported something in? Yeah, but it's like dramatically lit in this room. Hmm, that's true. I like I how think whatever, you, you, whatever you're holding it. right now is not what you want to be holding. I just wanted to see if this worked as a way, as an effect. Okay, yeah, it just doesn't have enough things to target to make that make sense. 
I hope Can sometime like, they put target that... four at a time anyway? I hope at some point they put that little guy in a box, and you open it, and then he draws the stuff in from all around <laughs> you. That'd be great. So in a previous run um, against this guy, there was a sniper rifle on the ground, and when he drew all the junk toward him, it dragged the sniper rifle along with it. It would be super cool if, like, if you don't collect the weapons around the room, he just like he just picks up all the ones you don't want. Yeah, yeah, agglomerates them into his body. That would be a pretty good enemy design. So I'm gonna do the smart thing, which is getting prepared before it attacks me. They could have it show up with a few weapons incorporated into it to begin with, and you can pick them nice. up if you can grab them while they're like sliding nice. along the floor. I think you should shoot them with like a regular gun. I got him half dead this way last time. You just gotta convince him to like stay on the other side of the grate. Yeah. It's like playing with a cat. <laughs> I like him poking his head through. <laughs> there. Ah, long button. Ah. Long gun. I wanna use the president. <laughs> Just remember, the gun now technically outranks you, so if it gives you an order. <laughs> Again, not sure how DARPA fits into the military chain of command. Is DARPA even in the military chain of command, or is there an executive? I'm certain it's not. <laughs> no! Oh. I think Darpa might a be a small easy. area to be I, doing this fight. I don't know. It seems like they're making you fight this enemy in progressively smaller areas. Eventually, yeah. it'll just be in a shipping container with it. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, what's up? I guess this is the first time you fought it with friends. Like, that's how they're... I think it's more of a small area with, like, basically no cover. Well, it's like a small area but also without cover, but also, like, it's not always focusing on you. Mm, that's true. Because you've got friends. Do I, though? Are they really friends? I mean, they're bros. They're your guys. Okay, I need to I need to actually be out in the open, but I somehow need to dodge that every time it. I basically cannot use my slowdown other than to dodge. This is an interesting limitation. Um, also, if you can figure out how to glitch him into staying on the other side of that grate, you can massively hit him down. Okay, so I think you might be at the highest upgrade of that gun. So BB in chat, and this seems... Oh, that was great. <laughs> Wikipedia seems to agree with BB in chat that it appears DARPA is... It's part of the Department of Defense, but it's not in the military chain of command. Right, like he's just some guy. I was just seeing if I could cigarette spam to, like, confuse it. And it works for a little bit. Anyway, I he need to... He doesn't have a rank. He's a football player. <laughs> I need to read this because this will answer a question that I think Christine never even realized she needed to ask. The name of the organization first changed from its founding name ARPA to DARPA in March 1972, briefly changing back to ARPA in February 1993, only to revert to DARPA in March 1996. It's kind of incredible that they changed their name for long enough for them to do the most important thing they'll ever do. Yeah, literally. The United States of America will no longer exist, but in adder.arpa will still be there. <laughs> The thing in question, incidentally, is invent the internet. Well, that. Oh, I just meant that. So, um, the United States ha owns. See, good news. Yeah. Okay. I need to concentrate. So. Okay. Mm. Last good news. Yeah. All right. That serious was a subpar news. Yeah, I think let's do one where with no talking, and then I'll talk to. I'll <coughs> pass it to Christine. Okay. Just I'm realizing the amount of concentration this requires. Sure. I don't know if a shotgun would be good against this. 
someday you'll be impressed with me. Okay, good start. Now it's on the other side. <laughs> that might be the trick. <laughs> I like that it still hasn't been given a name. Okay, I'm on a gun that works. Uh, zoom? Yeah. Oh! I was nooming. Maybe on, like, this is the third time it showed up, so maybe they should just change the name from unknown to known. <laughs> Somewhat known. So it's that thing. You know, yeah. the one. I should have been guy. using more grenade stuff. Mm. Yep. This will come in handy. Alright, so the reason I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by the name change is, um... So the, the United States owns .gov and .mil, but they also used to own a TLD that was .arpa that was used for nothing except internal use by DARPA. And unfortunately, at some point in the 70s, <laughs> they set up a single server named in-addr.arpa because they had this thing where like you have the DNS system and the DNS system look at like, if you knew the name, you could look up the IP address, but someone was like, but what if you have an IP address and you want to know the name? So DARPA was like, we'll just set up a server that you can ask in dash addr.arpa, this server we set up, uh, what the name of a given IP address is. And eventually this became so important that instead of, uh, instead of DARPA continuing to host this server, by the 90s, it was just the case that your ISP would run a reverse, like, lookup server, and it would, if you asked for in dash addr.arpa, your ISP would say, hi, I'm in adder.arpa, and I think now it might just be, like, part of the infrastructure of things, like, I'm not sure it's even, like, a real server, uh, but it was still at this same address, in adder.arpa. And then to make things weirder, like up through the end of the 90s, ARPA, DARPA actually had some servers running on the ARPA TLD, but now it's all been removed. So there's a TLD dot ARPA with no actual sites of any kind on it that only exists to host this like outdated server, this like fake server that your ISP will always pretend to nice. Good ending. <laughs> um, kept it tight. Try shooting your life or uh, LFE gun down through into space. I want to see if it. Oh. No. Mm. I can't shoot LFEs through glass. Man, I love panic throw grenade, and it works. <laughs> I love that it was like you were clearly about to die. <laughs> yeah, that was the opposite of the it grabbed me while I was zooming <laughs> thing. I mean. It also grabbed me while I was moving. Where is the containment wall control panel? I'll guide you to it. It really might be the case that every time you use that thing, you just fly off into space. <laughs> What's it looking like outside? Space? How much time we got left? Not sure, but if you it's black and there's stars. Are there any living people in this place? Surely not, not, given like all the murder robots. Let's not give up on them just yet. There's still time. I don't take orders from Darpa. This is 
how you do things. Don't get sentimental with me. How many people do you think have already died for this? Failure is not an option now. It never was. So you fail those men out there instead? <sighs> what part of Marines complete the mission did you not understand? Just picked and chose. <laughs> you go ahead. I'll make sure our rear flank is covered. <laughs> this high speed elevator can take us right up to the enemy position. It's convenient. Elevators, they're back. One thing I wonder is why didn't they give the Marines any kind of air tanks on a mission to a space station? Or for that matter. Seems like it'd be useful to have. Shouldn't really think this is gonna be the last <laughs> the US had a recession. <laughs> History should lend credence to that theory. Even with the sacrifices. <laughs> I never planned for that to happen. But that sacrifice of some sort is unavoidable. This is not the time or the place for regrets. The ends come before the means now. Then I will let you handle the means. And I will bring back your friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got a theory. I'm not sure the person who wrote that understood what that phrase actually means. I can't believe the Russians were Americans all along! Sam, you're almost up to the colony core. Almost? Jesus, this place is much bigger than it looks from space. I'm orbiting nearby, in case you need me. Good. Don't go anywhere. Like, honestly, if I were designing, like, one of these space stations, maybe I would just have, like, every few hundred meters, like, a station with some oxygen masks attached to it. I'm gonna enter it. Oh, it's PNO3. Firing. Scanners are showing Burns isn't alone. Maybe he's linking up with some reinforcements. Even though he knocked everyone out. It is rather strange. Well, I'm gonna worry about the devils we know. The RIs from here on out aren't gonna give us a free ride. It's really handy how after just running around you went down an elevator and then when you back up the elevator you were there is starting to piss me off. There should be a gatling gun off to the left of the buzzard's position. Nice. Man, I'm not fucking heading anywhere. Thinking about how the big twist in this game made in 2009 is that Hillary Clinton was controlling the Russian bots all along. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. I don't think there's anything you can do with that. I think this I game was very prescient to. that it predicted that US American relationships would be incredibly dumb <laughs> in the future. How do I get behind there? Maybe oh, I see. Oh. It's the door. 
Why won't this door open? Have you tried using the doorknob? What are you talking about? I don't know your fancy doorknob. The big DARPA blue thing covering the <laughs> screen. It's the doorknob. I don't know about your advanced DARPA technology. I'm hacking this door. In the Marine Corps, we don't trust any technology more advanced than a boot. <laughs> They offered me a rocket backpack, and I said, no, rocket boots only. <laughs> Chat says the D in DARPA is for door. They renamed it from ARPA to DARPA in 1973 when they discovered the door. And then in 1993, it was deemed too complicated for the Marines, so they had to remove the door. Maybe I'll do it. I like this guy's big hands. Yeah. Shit. What is it whooping in? Is it Dr. Manhattan or is it something else? Oh, it's just a drill oh. guy. That's fine. Can he drill inside the room? Can drills go through doors? Oh no! Degrassi needs some juice. Wow, it knows how to use doors. Damn, smarter than me. <laughs> that was confusing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hi, Haley. I have things under control. Alright, here's a suggestion. Stand directly in my way. Yes, sir. Cool. What the hell is going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's oh, like... Oh, you better bomb them. You better get yeah. to them and bomb them. Like, I whatever it is, there's definitely a lot of a visual effects while it's happening. <laughs> oh, man. They just vaporized All my guys burns. are just fucking dead. No, Burns is evil now, so he can't... They don't even want evil. juice. Oh. I like how he yelled... These I'm guys are really just, like, walking straight into Yeah. Him. He yelled, I'm pinned down by those two laser cannons, ran out into the laser cannons, and got immediately vaporized. Let's give this guy some juice. I wish he'd name different types of juice whenever he did it. Have some orange juice. How about some apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> Only cran raspberry for my favorite marine. This one's Snapple flavored.
See, I've learned. That's some advanced DARPA technology right there. Gonna hack that computer. With a bomb. That's like the best kind of hacking. Not what I was after, but it'll do. It was extremely what I was after. Literally the only thing I wanted, actually. Oh man, hiding one of those behind the crate. Hey, yeah, that's if really you funny. set the bomb Placement. and run away, does the bomb destroy it in the cutscene? I don't know. I'm a little distracted at the moment. It's blocking uh, its own. It's cool. Yeah, that under control. Yeah. So much screen. Hey, is in Yes, it's a rocket launcher axe. <laughs> the important thing to realize is that it does not in fact launch rockets. It launches small rockets that fly near you and then shoot lasers at you. <laughs> Maybe if you get back to the Gatling. Yeah, where is it? It's behind you, other way. The There's way you're not going. Ones. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go the other one. Where, where was it? It was not here, it was in the little side passage. Oh, so many people craving juice. Ah. Uh. Yeah, there's one here. I'm gonna shoot the men, not the horses. Oh. Too bad. Oh, that's I'm pretty just cool. Just gonna shoot the orbs. Just all these pinballs. I decided I'm not gonna be fussy about what I shoot. Well, I really don't know about those spike clubs. That's that for that. They're a little silly. Yeah. I like how some of the weapons don't look like they make any sense in this context at all. That's kind of cool. What if you had a rocket launcher that shot axes? Damn. What a great place to leave a shotgun. Hey, what's this guy look like right now? Okay, nothing. Oh, right in front of them. That was the first time they told me to go somewhere and I understood where it was. It was the thing I was standing right in front of. I'm so confused. But I understood Where's that. an elevator? You know this part of the colony, Crossy? Yeah, but I have no idea what it's like now. Better than nothing. Elena, do you have any idea on core strength? The electromagnetic interference is building up. I'm not sure how much longer I can provide off support. Not a good time to be saying that. I'll do what I can to keep you apprised. I'm counting on it. They love military acronyms, yet they spell out electromagnetic. I'm gonna start saying that every time I open a door. <laughs> Hoorah! I'm an American! Lock and load, open that door! Hoorah!
Okay. <laughs> Proceed with caution. It's just one dude. It's just one guy. Oh, oh no, no, never mind. Oh, okay. They got Terry. There was a Dr. Manhattan in here. I really like the toning from like being transparent to showing the skeleton. I like how the pro strat for this turned out to be the first thing that it occurred to us <laughs> to try. Let's try the one gun that sounds like might not work. Oh, it works. There we go. Oh, it regrew its arms. That was kind of cool. Neat. Yeah, no, I like some of the animation okay, stuff. Let's get the with it. fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, remember the dodge roll? I never remember the dodge roll ever. How do you go into slow mo then? What? Using a. Uh, just pressing both buttons. Oh, that does that? How have you been going to slow mo? <laughs> the dodge roll. If you aim Wait, during like... the dodge roll. So wait, if you hold Noom and... Oh, I see. Yeah, I've just been hitting the Noom button and like... And at the same time as the aim button? And it goes into slow-mo? I had no idea. I mean, I've always been doing it during a slide. But I haven't been... Doing a... Wait, can you do it in place? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, I still want to understand the move you're doing. <laughs> I'm starting to do new while aiming. So that's why I'm always sliding while I do it. Huh. You can do it in place? Oh my god. You can do it <laughs> while newing? <laughs> we both had picked up one strat, but they were the opposite. Well, to be clear, mine's way cooler. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> and also easier to pull off timing-wise. Well, so wait, okay. it has a problem of sometimes you overshoot people. <laughs> Did you notice he just... Oh! Yeah. He just out of the way of the entire squad at once. That is a lot easier than what I have been doing. Because, <laughs> yeah, that requires like a, you've got to do it fast enough. <laughs> if oh, you do it too late. Up. I really thought that you were doing it with sliding the first stream, Miguel, and then forgot about it, maybe. It's entirely possible. <laughs> um, I was like, I was definitely like zooming around and going in slow mo because I was damaged and things like that. Oh. Um. I should definitely pick that up. <laughs> well, we're learning a lot here today. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd totally forget. If, if I did a, know this that. This is a good shot. Yeah. It's all these lines leading to the little red. Like, it's often thing. good because, like, you're really far away, but also you want to shoot them a bunch. Yeah, He's doing a little newming is the only one that, that the tutorial tells you to do. I uh, know it tells you the other one. Does it? Yeah. I never did in the tutorial, for sure. Damn, where are you? In front of the control room. Where the hell are you? I've got myself into the lab bush. Sure you did. You too. I'm sending the rest of the Marines your way. What works for me? Uh, what? Uh, didn't think they expected me to walk that far forward. Yeah. Isn't the mission objective here, not back where Burns is? He's, yes. He's I been think... ambushed, so you're sending them to... But they just went through a whole thing about individual soldiers such as Burns not being important. Yeah. But he's not like... Professor Candy. Uh, where are the Marines? <laughs> Stay back. Really? We can't trust the commander really? <laughs> like, I feel like it'd be funny if you just had, like, an anti-tank gun. 
Yeah. I... Thank God. I stopped it in time. Uh... Good thing we got to meet this guy for any period of time. Yeah, this has got some good revengeance energy right now. Feels like they did a lot of stuff in this act that they should have been doing in the first act. Like, it is like a good surprising twist. I just don't yeah. think the previous acts had enough going on in them to like generate interest is the problem. Yeah. But like him like being like your final boss is like pretty good cool. Uh <laughs> Tactical error. <laughs> oh, definitely getting some PNO three energy. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa. See, now you can kill Americans, Miguel. I think his head exploded and you like saw a jaw flying out. Yeah, that was gross. Yeah, there's been like a lot of like gross effects on your allies getting killed that you can't really ever see unless uh, you're like sitting right on top of them. Keep forgetting that's a thing you can do. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we apparently have just like remembered totally different things <laughs> of the various like. Well, I mean specifically the thing where you flip over. Yeah, the... but no, like that's my like two ways of doing it are that and. Hey, why um, are there gun racks in the control room? The dodge roll. I don't know, but you should definitely take advantage of them. Yeah. And maybe not. Yeah. Uh, oh, upgrade's good, though. Where is the upgrade? To the oh, right. It might be the anti-armor pistol is going to be more effective against the human than the Oh, LFB. yeah, with his shield. Oh, no, no. you're right. Yeah, LFB's you should, good. like... She should just be should... LFBing him right now. You should get rid of... Oh, whoops, Wait, I upgraded the wrong thing. Wait, did your gun get thing. downgraded? No? Yeah. Which one? The The top one. No, it's, it's the size that it goes. Yeah, but it was one lower before that. No. Yeah, it was. It's had three stars for a while. Yeah, but then it was one lower right before. Is it possible that if you pick up the upgrade for the animation, it downgrades you to two and then immediately back up to three? Maybe. Is the premise <laughs> for this what for this fight supposed to be that he's like continuously running away from you and yeah, you're catching up? Yeah, I think so. Him? Sort of cool. claims that your gun might get downgraded on death. Wow. Huh. I don't think that, that's the case. That doesn't sound right. Because, like, we've just been, like, cheesing the upgrade by picking up the same weapon repeatedly during the same fight. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Chad is asking, what are the green dots on the radar? That's a great question. <laughs> okay, that was pretty sick. Shit. 
Okay, they do a lot more damage than the robots do. That LFE gun does a lot of damage against these humans, though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping it around. Hey, turn to the right. What's the green dot here behind you? Oh, it's gun emplacements. Okay. That's what I figured it must be. Yeah, the weapon's fully upgraded. Not, we're not losing. Well, the anti-armor might be good in this case. Yeah, I just, while well, I've got him pinned down, I want to make use of that. Okay. And I can upgrade it. Like, it does have other penalties on death, so it's not really a big deal. Yeah, it takes so little shots from them to get slow mode. Interesting how, like, up until now, the other humans have seemed to be immune from the LFE. <laughs> well, they're also immune to bullets, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Thanks for joining us, Matt. I've been ingesting small quantities of bullets for years. I built up a complete immunity. Like, there already is, a, like, a big, like, points penalty on deaths, so, like, oh. I think that's how they're disincentivizing it. Gotta remember that I can also just blind fire. Oh, no, blind firing is not as helpful as it is in some other cover shooters. I think you're far enough out. What? Ah, his shield does block. Oh. Does it? I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's been going through. No, I've been hitting him when he. He's been taking damage. Okay. Though. Uh, he's taking damage some of the time when his shield is out of the way. I know. I don't know if he's taking damage the other times. I thought that was supposed to be how that thing worked. Yeah, but it might be a special shield. Well, you should zoom. Oh, yeah. Repeating the best part of the game. Unfortunately, the best part of the game doesn't let you mew. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I really <laughs> like the way this looks when it hits the humans. They're just like flipping the fuck out. <laughs> it's kind of stopping you from using the LFE very effectively. Yeah. I like how with these things moving around each other, like you fire the yeah, gun and it doesn't really go in a straight line. And you're like, oh, now you remember how rotational physics works. I feel like the thing that I'd like to see in Hypothetical Vanquish 2 is just art direction. Honestly, yeah. I feel like the mechanics feel good. They've like nailed it. I don't think this needs like 
big changes. I just want a more interesting environment to be doing them in. More interesting in environment and more interesting story. Yeah. Or a story. I think that's less of a big deal, but also like seeing like all the energy in this that went into Revengeance, which is has incredible writing. Like just knowing what what they're capable of. I think my answer to the question is I kind of don't want to see a hypothetical Vanquish two. I still want to play. Uh, I want more new. I want good. I want to play Revengeance. I don't know if you'd like it. Really? Okay. I have a feeling you would not. Okay. It's very technical. Okay. And How do guns? you feel about the technical Devil May Cries? I've never played a Devil May Cry. Hmm. Have you played anything of that? Have I played anything? No. <laughs> of that sort? Not really, no. I've played... I really like DMC. I've only played the first Devil May Cry, and I did not like it. This scene is actually pretty cool. I like DMC cool. more, not because like it's mechanically more interesting, although I think it plays faster and looser with shit. But the writing is just a really good level of dumb. In general, I'm a little bit more interested in. Um... Wow. In general, I'm personally more interested in... Okay, so how much is a... Uh... Oh. Ah. We're fighting Burns because he's actually working for the president the entire time. No one would have seen that coming. I'm not sure who it is we're working for, if not the president. You're saying you're more interested in... Oh, so Revengeance, is that more like melee stuff or guns? It's all melee, but... There's but, a little bit of guns from what I remember, isn't there? I can't remember. It's been okay. ages since I played it. I, there might be a gun that you can use, but it's... It's mostly about the melee. It's mostly about parrying by clicking on the analog stick. Hmm, that's... Oh, yeah, I'm remembering why I disliked that game. It's a little bit weird, but... Oh, yeah, I, I, that, that explains why you really dislike it, if, if you have trouble with the analog sticks. Which, doing precise stuff with them. It's amazing. Uh, I wasn't suddenly... really a fan of like the choice they made on that, as much as like it feels good once it clicks, like once you get it down. But it is a weird decision. Anyway, I haven't played God of War, haven't played DMC, haven't played Bayonetta. I have missed an entire genre. I feel like God of War is a different genre because it's really? not about being technical at no. all. No. It's like, like cool QTEs. Okay. And button mashing. Are you thinking of Gears of War? Gears of War is a gun game, I thought. Yes. I was thinking of God of War because that was like one of those combo-based Is it combo brawlers? Is it? It might know. be combo-based, but my understanding is I have actually never played them. My understanding from everything I have... There's a lot of tentpole action games we've just never bothered with. Yeah. Everything I've heard about how it works is that it is very button mashy, not very technical. Okay. That's my understanding. I might try... Or maybe I'm... you were thinking of God Hand? No, it was... The... Okay, God Hand I actually want to play. Because yeah, God Hand team. I want to play. Miguel, no! I've just got this notion of, like, a game where Explain you've got... Explain your thinking. I was trying to do the pickup button and forgot which one it was. Okay, someone's saying that God of War, the first yeah. two are technically combo-based, is just loose. Yeah, like, my understanding is, okay, like, there's so combos like, and yeah, stuff. So, like, you're, like, you're saying, like, oh, it's not the same genre because it's technical, and I'm like, no, it's the same genre, it's just a technical version of the same genre. I've played nothing. I kind of want to play Darksiders. Uh, yeah, I can. I did not like the art direction in Darksiders to the point where kind of like. Yeah, the, the art did direction did nothing looks, for me. The art direction looks like it's. There's not much to say about it. Oh, uh, note your potentially downgraded gun. Oh. Oh. Uh, the internet seems oh. to relatively agree with the person in chat who said. You get one downgrade for if you the first time you die at a checkpoint. Okay. Huh. So, Good to know. That's really weird. Yeah. So maybe you just want to switch to the LFE gun every single time that you uh, are about to die. A thing I can always predict. I can always predict it. I'm like, oh, Miguel's about to die right here. Yeah. The thing is, that because it's the like clutch. 
getting out of death. Okay, you never want true. to hit anything that is not helping you get out of death. Yeah, we've done a lot of pretty clutch stuff. I have this vague sense that there's like... If there is like a Darksiders game that like is really good, I'd be interested in that. I felt like the first one, they just didn't quite like have oh, down. Yeah. Which Darksiders is the new Darksiders? I actually don't know. Good thing I know what that is. <laughs> so we have a great question in chat that Miguel absolutely cannot look at until... There was part of a jaw in his forehead, but... Eh, you know. You know how it is. Uh, you got a grenade? They've got grenades, that's yeah, kind of cool. I'm... Yeah. Do I have a go for a bit okay, so I can sure. see what the question is? Dark Soccer Genesis. Uh, what are your favorite comics in terms of art? My favorite comics in terms of art? Oh, uh, so that's for everyone? Um... Hmm. Huh. Walt. Oh. Where'd he go? I'm really bad at favorites and things. Um... Oh god, I was doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Recent comics that I've really liked the out of, The Girl from the Other Side has absolutely phenomenal. I really art. love that. Um, I was just reading the uh, the incredible um, uh, short BL uh, collection she did. Or uh, he, he yeah. yeah. I was actually very surprised by that. Um, I didn't really get into what I've read of Witch Hat um, Atelier. Oh, I really um, liked it. But the art is phenomenal in it. I can't, I don't understand how that was an affordable comic to make. Like, oh, God, the right? of the art. It's just um, covered in incredibly detailed, amazing ha cross hatching mm. and like fake lithograph art style. I keep trying to get you to read uh, Ran in the Gray World, which is also just. Uh, Really lush. Um. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to think of Western comics that I really like the art on. Uh, there was a. Uh, we were both really into um, um, Southern Cross. Mm. Or at least I really like that. I was more into the story than the art on that. Oh man, um, I really love the art in that. Who was that? That was a. Uh, it's Andy Bellinger yeah. and. Um, Becky Cloonan. Yeah. I've got slightly different aesthetic uh, priorities in these two. So, actually, a comic that I really like the art in is the old uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac by Jonathan Vasquez. <laughs> just because everything is like weird, just abstract ink dr drips all over everything. Um. I really like the art and bone. It's like just mm. clean, the mm. inking in it is fantastic. Um, I like whoever it is that's been making the really weird comics and leaving them at the zine rack at <laughs> the Beguiling where it's just like, I drew 30 pages of like almost the same panel over and over like here's a circle on like a slope or something it's not really clear if 
like someone's just been doing these for a while here, and it's not really clear if there's supposed to be any kind from? of like order to them. Oh god, if that kills me, I'm gonna be real cranky. Speaking no! of Johnny the homicidal yeah. maniac. He fills up one page. Oh, it's got a little band-aid on it, that's cute. Hellboy has really, really good art. Oh, I like the, especially the stuff that's actually, um, like Magnolia. I was gonna say, I was um, just reading, um, I read Hellboy in Hell recently, and it's basically nothing but just pages and pages of art. It's the, uh, it's the angel's egg of Western comics. <laughs> um... Oh God, no, and Scott Pilgrim once Mal like refined his style. Oh yeah, I really um, like seconds a lot. Uh, Guy Davis's um, long run on BPRD, like I liked the Hellboy stuff, but but he really won me over, uh, drawing some of the same characters in a very Isn't different style. Uh, he he hmm. won a, he did a bunch of. Monster design for Guillermo del Toro later. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't really remember the art from that um, super well, um, but uh, I found that, that was where Hellboy got too. It was too much into like, do you remember this bit from Shit. this like? comic you read two years ago. Yeah, no, it was totally the other, like, Hellboy was the opposite, it was all episodic, and BPRD yeah. was, like, it, it really, I think it did the soap opera stuff really well. Uh, like, especially with some of the returning villains who ruined their lives by me meddling with magic in cool ways. Yeah, I read the first big arc of it, and it just felt like it was too continuity-based, and I couldn't remember enough of the things um, that it was referring to. There's there's some nice big like phone book-sized collections if you ever want to just read it all in one go, where that's less of those issue. ones over there that we're using to weigh down. Oh the yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the amount okay. I have read. Okay. That's probably Gonna a focus. good amount. I fell off it after uh, Davis left. Mm. So that might be around that time. He did a long run. Huh? It's the something of frogs arc. Um, in general, though, I, I don't buy comics for their artwork. It's, I'm more interested in how they do the sequential I, stuff. I agree with that, but I feel like like good art is like what gets me to pick up a comic in the first place. Mm. Yeah, that can be true. Um, um like a nice. <laughs> Oh. I really thought I did that in time. Good failure. Um, I like, um, like... I've been reading a lot of Brubaker and Phillips uh, crime comics, like uh, mm. the, like The Current Criminal, which is really good, and definitely I'm not reading that for the art, but like the art was initially what got me to pick them up forever ago. And it's sort of like when I think of my favorite things, they aren't necessarily the ones with my favorite art in them. Like... Oh, I mean, to be clear, this yeah. bites me in the ass more than, often than not. Um, I'm definitely... Oh, man. Please, no mulchy. <laughs> like, 20th Century Boys is one of my favorite comics. Yeah, I think I he's would a agree. fantastic artist, but it is not my favorite comic art. Um, it's how I think he... he... Yeah. Hey, why can you EMP this dude? He's got an electric yeah. suit. Okay. Um, Headshots ought to be more effective against him, given that he's not wearing a helmet or anything. Yeah, it's fine. I guess I don't like the separating of all of it. Like I'm like, man, the faces in Golden Camoy are great and are part of what make it work <laughs> so well. But it's like I wouldn't pick out a piece of that as like a piece mm. of artwork that I love. But it is like one of my favorite comics right That's now. That's legit. And it's because of that mix of writing art. Um, the way that the layouts are used all coming together. I'm a little bit, um, I had a period when I was, uh, I had a period when I was moving a lot, and so what I basically quickly went to is this thing that, like, I kind of don't want to bother owning a book 
unless the imagery in it is really like worth it by itself. Like if I'm reading a comic for the story, maybe I could just have that on, a, on an iPad or something, you know? I mean, I, I'm pretty much, I read nearly everything digitally if possible. Right. I'm, I definitely still prefer books for reading comics. I prefer it, I just don't have room, so, yeah. like, mm -hmm. no, if that's at all a bit possible, more expensive. I will never. Um, I'm just angry when I start a series, realize it's one of my favorites, but then own so much of it digitally, which is what has happened to me with Golden Kamui. Interesting. Where, like, if they ever do a, like, deluxe version of those, Wow, so with really nice printing. Got him! What have been people saying to us? That was a good fight. Talk? Nothing, really. If only you hadn't kept so many of these people alive. <laughs> you kind of haven't, actually. You've been doing a bad job of that. Oh, what the hell? I guess he did do a pretty bad job at, like, murdering all of the guys. Since he had a lot of guys. You had one job. You think they were just, like, pretending to be dead? Burns! You gotta stay still! What the fuck? <laughs> Again, not 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 part of your command structure. Also, bro, what just happened? I... Romance. That's what happened. Did he? What happened to the gun? Like the giant space station-sized gun? He did something, and then he said he won. I'm very confused as to actually what. Yeah. Did he cancel it? I guess it, he or turned he it off. It? I think maybe like by shooting him to death, you convinced him you were right. Yeah, I, I feel like there is a story beat missing here. Definitely setting off a giant bomb in the control room of a space station sized gun is not going to do anything bad. Oh, I don't think they're going to find anything of him to put in a pine box. His hand. <laughs> <laughs> Objective, complete the mission. Thank you. Love to complete a mission. Thanks. Ooh, I like the, uh... <coughs> Why couldn't we have had more of this in yeah. the environment? They've actually had a, a few internal environments that look really expensive, but... The, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I wish we were doing it ourselves. Yeah! Hugs! I like how they went to the bother of, like, narrating the... Wow, this is a cool boss fight. <laughs> Could have at least, like, had, like, a QTE or two? Yeah, this yeah. feels like they should be throwing some QTEs in. Wait, who is the... We don't know. Okay. Who's the what? He's just some guy. There That's was just the... suddenly a blue suit. That's the lead Russian. Wait, blue suit? Yeah. Not the Russian dude? I thought I saw a blue suit. I think it was just the Russian suit lit. Oh, okay. By the blue light. Oh, he's doing it! He's actually smoking it! Nothing better than a smoke to remind you you're alive. What the fuck? No, I couldn't wait until I got up onto the... 
Oh, no. Nope, I saw blue suit. I bet it's Hillary Clinton. Just oh, let me finish this one in peace, will ya? <laughs> A dead man's last cigar. Take your time. Rather hear something uh, other than bullshit. bullshit from you. You want the truth, comrade? Here is glimpse. Another winter's backyard takeover of Russia. The president was behind your coup? She, she promised to support our sovereign government. Said no, no bullshit. Two winters. War was necessary to regain economic footing and reassert world hegemony. But more suitable target than us. Is this guy a robot? So she used you as a pretext for war. war. We had no choice but to proclaim war before we were attacked ourselves. I can't condone winners trying to attack us. But you have no right to declare war with a weapon of mass destruction. He's a football player and he knows that. Okay. Uh. Unclear on when they were betrayed. Probably sounded cooler in his head. <laughs> okay, what's the gun shooting at? <laughs> also, wait, doesn't that voiceover imply that they knew this thing was designed? Never mind. But why is it the leader of Russia wearing two suits? Is that supposed to be a Russian accent or is it just the voice slowed down? I think it just slowed down because of the new. It's slightly slowed down even when you're not newing, but maybe something's just messed up. This is a pretty cool environment. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's more piano three clean. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is more legible than like a lot of the. What is he shooting me? Yeah, they're all really far away. Bravo and Bo Bokey Alpha. <coughs> the voiceover seems to imply that there's like a time limit on this fight. It's probably not true because everything else they said that's been urgent hasn't. She actually said 30% at one point. <laughs> I don't 
like to be two of them. When they do that, that's probably a good time for an LP. Nope, that's not cover anymore. Oops. There. Ah, damn it. Long gun for that. Nice. I'm realizing that actually one of the best things about the LFE is that it's one of the only things that actually stuns things. <laughs> uh, God, they move fast. Yeah. Okay, you wanna give it a try? Sure. Yeah, no, the fact that it's constantly shifting up the cover is pretty good. Yeah, no, this is... Eon says, look up, I want to see where this platform is going. Oh, it's going toward... Oh, you know. White. The void. Love the void. Beautiful void. Everybody void never betrayed the me. Void. But the void totally betrayed me. Man, remember when we could trust Orb? Actually, you probably want that assault rifle. I'm thinking about how you what? can only carry four guns, even though I don't you're 3D printing what them. Just happened there. So many of their shots just immediately put you into near death. Yeah. No, oh, I don't think I really want it. Nice. I don't think the saw is the, the weapon I want. Yeah, probably not. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, that's correct. Oh. No, shit. Oh, I really miss. I'm not 
rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Good news. I'm sorry I doubted you. Do you think it would be like a good idea to actually just focus everything on I that? I am. That's a good plan. I wish I'd thought of it. I mean, I'm just gonna hit whoever I can, but I'm gonna try and hit one more than another. Red is the one that you've done yep. the most damage to. I think your heart is... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on. Guess they've got grenades too. Oh yeah. Do they give you the disc launcher because they think it'll be good or because they know it's one of the worst They're guns? They're definitely giving it to me intentionally, but I don't know why, so. I think we don't know how to use it well. Because yep. it's not a gun we spent a lot of time with. Lock on laser might actually be a good yeah. one to have. Yeah. Chat suggests one of their attacks might actually just be a heat gun. Oh, interesting. No, no, that wasn't the one I... I wonder if there's a quick time if you go up close to them while they're down like that. I know meleeing is usually not a good idea, yeah. but it might actually be worth meleeing. Oh, oh. Okay. Hello. Cool. Nice. Whichever one you kill yep. first. Yeah. Oh boy. Fuck. Oh, please oh, it be checkpoint. Oh, it's please not gonna. Checkpoint. It's not gonna. You know it's not. Seems like once you killed the first one, like. I love the battlefield logic adaptable. Oh, wow! That's new. Oh wow! Look oh, at your God. boost bar. What? I wonder if expending it just kills you though. <laughs> something, Try. something wild is happening in the environment. Like just stuff is falling past you. Boost to death. I just want to know if you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that would be really funny if it killed you, though. It would be a really neat trade-off. I mean, I think it's fine that it doesn't work that way. It would <laughs> this be launcher funny. melee doesn't overheat you. Oh, right. Different weapons have different melees. I forgot about that. Yeah, but... Yeah, we never really explored those parts no, of the system. No, we never use melee. Because it's not a good idea to use it, but... But maybe with the right weapons it is. If the yeah. disc, but if the disc melee doesn't overheat you, then it's... Well, the thing is, like, no matter what you do, the instant overheat is such a big punishment. Yeah, 
this isn't really uh, <laughs> doing much. Damage wise? No. I can definitely see like there's probably a strategy of improving certain guns more that aren't that useful in most cases, but are really useful in boss fights. Mm. And we sort of did that with the LFE. Yeah, I think um, the LFE might not be great against this guy. It doesn't do much damage. It knocks him back though, which is it's true. Means you can sometimes yeah. juggle him a few times, which is absolutely worth it. Power should just do like. Give yourself a little bit of a rest. I think the lock-on laser, if you had somewhere you could like, if you had somewhere safe to just stick around. Nice. Ah. Uh, one day I'm going to hit someone with a grenade on purpose. I really hope that hit. Yes. Yeah, the lock on seems to be extremely good. Not that good, though. Just the amount that he swirled. Oh. Nice. It's okay. Got him off my ass. <laughs> wow. Pat moves really fast. not very frosty of you. <laughs> sure. First person quick time event, fast. TFW, the president of the Russian Federation, kicks you in the head. Nice. Nice! Yeah, no, this is... Good use of ending quick times. So. That was good. Unfortunately, that was also the wrong one. Elena, this is a slave unit. He must have been operating them remotely. Yeah, controlling both of them at the same time. He stuffed him with tactical nukes. <laughs> Good thinking. Lots of civilians in the clear. They've been very unclear about the civilian yeah, stuff. I have no idea. Sure about the design of the new Google Watch. 
for Apple Watch. <laughs> I like how you realized they were tactical nukes as soon as you saw the countdown. No, there's also like a little like nuclear symbol on it. I see. Like on the LED, like on the LED part. Or LCD part, I guess. I feel like in an early draft of the script, this was like, you were like rushing to an escape pod and like doing, you know, like the Metroid, like dodging debris and stuff thing. Mm -hmm. That would but, have been good given the zoom. Noom. Right, exactly. And, and also like, otherwise, why does he need to fly away from the explosion? He must be in one of these tabs. Damn. You didn't seem too bothered when your boss died. Haven't they already shown the shot of him escaping? Sam. <laughs> Sam's just trying to light a cigarette off the explosion. Don't go making funeral arrangements just yet. Did he land on it? <laughs> Only emotionally. What's the medium for the shockwave there? Uh, all the air they let out in his face. That makes sense. Here we go. <laughs> you definitely can crush your head against that thing. Gently cushioning our head against his metal carapace. Also, like, it's fine that we just let the Russians pull an Operation British on this on the space colony, right? That's good, that's cool. I'm sure that I'm mostly just this exact moment concerned with the fact he was quite close to a nuclear bomb when it went off and you think there'd be a radiation consequence to that? And never smile again. Oh my god, what happened to the polar ice caps? Is Hudson Bay supposed to be completely devoid of ice? Meanwhile, at Space Russia. Oh, it's made to look like Sputnik. Meanwhile, in the sequel. Maybe it isn't just a bit at the beginning with the three things. This is the end of my presidency. Okay. Well, that was just unnecessary. Jesus. <laughs> oh, 
don't feel like they owned any of this. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's Smash Brothers. Speaking of the first Devil May Cry, <laughs> which ends with a shooter. Uh, mm. this rules. <laughs> Damn it, Jean! <laughs> Sorry, still getting over the total whiplash of that extremely graphic suicide scene to this. <laughs> Smash Brothers did this first. It was there in the original. Mm -hmm. The final level of Devil May Cry is actually like a weird shooter mm -hmm. thing. I'm still thrown by every single person who is in the uh, storage on the. Uh... Hey, here are the. I really like the thing of like including the MVPs. portraits though. The portraits are cool. <laughs> you only find out who they are once you shoot them. So the one, the one like. <laughs> is that your recorder up her nose? Yeah, the one goofy <laughs> portrait and the one serious portrait. Well, they clearly have, like, a couple, because their corner of her nose turned into, like, just yeah. a normal headshot. Oh, no, these aren't credit asteroids. They're just regular asteroids. It's just interesting. This is, like, you know, like a cute, like, arcade-style thing in a game that's eight hours long. And immediately follows a graphic suicide. Yeah, the immediately like graphic. Like this isn't a cute uh, arcade game. Maybe it should have been. I'm really fascinated. Like you blow up the space station, which they've this established is, is still really full like of this. like also. <laughs> civilians, and then they're immediately like, but you saved so many lives. I'm like, did we? I wish it had leaned more into the charming bits and less into the... Yeah. I think it was never going to lean into the charming bits, though, because it was yeah. always, like, very much on, like... But just, like, there's this, there's the dancing robots, and then most of what's there is... But I feel like this this was, like, this was always them trying to do, like, a very, like, sincere, gritty, military yeah, yeah. bullshit. Like, it's over the top, but I don't know if they understand why that's funny. Like, I think they just think ura is a cool thing to say. Oh, okay. I was looking at that, like, why can you see a nebula? That's not that I'm like, oh my god, that's probably the debris cloud from the... It's fine. I'm sure that will not have any effect on the climate. Oh, they get starting to dodge. They're getting fancy. Oh, it's because it's the AI programmer. <laughs> I've said this off-stream in conversations we've had, but I've, this game feels very much like it is the weird reverse compliment to Gravity Rush <laughs> um, 2, which is a game that You're has... really going to have to unpack that one. Okay, I'm going to have to unpack that. I think of the two because they both have that zooming thing as a It's move. true. They're both, they both um, do revolve around in you. But I'm going to unpack it. So <laughs> Gravity Rush is a game that is super charming, but has very shallow mechanics that it tries to do too much with. <laughs> But it manages to take, like, the stupidest little mechanic and write something about it that makes you, like, do a mission that involves it. Yeah. Like, it's full of basically you having superpowers and doing odd jobs for people. So, like, it's like, it, we have a throwing mechanic, we'll have a bit where you've got to babysit a dog. Um, and this feels like the opposite, where it's like, the mechanics are incredibly solid, <laughs> but it lacks any charm. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, the writing never makes you, like, it does the opposite. It takes an exciting thing and makes it uninteresting by... Right, like it relates framing. it to something that's actually incredibly boring. Um, 
Do you notice they're timing you in a section that is on rails? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure what happens if we just like... I think probably the things hang around if you don't shoot them, so you still see the credit eventually. Yeah, like the time and just that... keeps going up. Oh, no, okay, you can. Okay, so they're just flying at you. Um, oh, I see, there's just a score. Yeah, it's sort of interesting to see two games that... One where everything around the game part <laughs> is expertly done, but the core is just... It's fun, but it's too shallow for what they want it to hold up. We'll um, never find out who the producer... Oh. <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> what? And this, the core is incredibly strong. And the story is weak, it's charming, it's kind of ugly some of the time. <laughs> and the final weird interesting thing is this is done by a former Resident Evil designer and Gravity Rush is done by a former Silent Hill designer. That's a little weird. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything with that. Do you notice the entire game's soundtrack has been like 303s and now they break up the like orchestral stuff? Mm. Yeah, no, I, I, I do think that was like a good, uh, I'm glad they avoided that. Stunts. Yeah, I don't know. This. This makes me want to go back and replay Revengeance. Like, I feel like everything that I really liked in this, just Revengeance did better. And the stuff that, like, it flirted with that were, like, Revengeance strengths, just, again, like, actually good, funny writing. Uh, the political angle is a lot more interesting. Uh, the gratuitous violence, like, actually makes sense. And is a lot more gratuitous Definitely as opposed to just random. Um, Revengeance is the better take on this oh, yeah. basic plot set of plot beats uh, and tone. I still like. I did not get into the combat in Revengeance. I find the combat in this more interesting. And yeah, um, I I think pointing out that Revengeance is shorter like is something that I don't know if it's actually that much shorter, but it feels a whole lot shorter. Like, Revengeance know, doesn't overstay felt, its welcome. Both felt pretty long to me. <laughs> really? I feel like Revengeance feels like a really short game. Like, it does not drag anything out. You enjoyed the combat, though. I think that makes a big difference. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but it's still, like, very punchy. So I'm thinking, like, Space Hillary Clinton really just sort of jumped the gun, kind of? Like... She really could have, she could have weathered this, right? Like everyone who was like involved in her, everyone, all the <laughs> witnesses to what she did were either killed in the explosion or worked for Russia anyway. And he didn't believe that that was what actually had happened. So yeah, yeah no, no, she totally didn't have to commit suicide. Yes, also same. like, honestly, possibly she just could have gotten away with it. Yeah. I feel like this is the problem with uh, in any, any, any political fiction pre uh, 2016 just doesn't realize that none of it matters. Well, I like mean, the you can just do anything. Would have been her taking out the Russians at the end, yeah. and then she's gonna be the boss in the sequel. Yeah, her not climbing into a mech suit, I think, was the real problem. Yeah. Yeah. I really thought she was gonna be the one in the blue suit. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that would have. That would be great. Yeah, I thought I thought that was an obvious good turn to have there. Hmm. Okay, Revengeance is five hours, so yeah, that, okay. that, that is a lot shorter. It did not feel like five hours in my memory. <laughs> I Cover wonder shooter if... where you manipulate gravity, that sounds interesting. Should yeah. Look Inversion. That up. Yeah, it's not that, like, I didn't dislike this. I thought this was really good. It's just... It mostly just reminds me of everything I loved about Revengeance. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's we, about it. Can we skip to the end of this? Yeah, there may actually be a, um, a post credit. This feels like we would have a post credits thing. So well, we unfortunately, like, it's not letting me Let's just button. talk through it then. Um, <laughs> and it turns out Sam was the Russian villain all along? I don't know. 
I wonder if I would like Revengeance more now that I could probably remap the controls. That's mm. true. That, um, that might be a big I had forgotten that it was using the clicking stick, and I tend to tense up. I don't like that as a decision. Stressful it's... things. It's fine for when it's mapped to run, because I'm stressed out. I probably <laughs> want to be running. <laughs> they give you points for the end credits. Developers destroyed. Survivor. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a final... It turns out Sega was the villain all along. God hard. Okay. That's funny. I wonder if we got hand. Yeah. No, I'm curious about it. I've been curious about it for years. Yeah, me too. Mm. Okay. Okay. And that was Vanquish. That's it. All right. Good night, y'all. We'll figure out what we're playing next. I can't yeah. remember if we had anything in mind. I think we were thinking of uh, Prince of Persia. Mm, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, join us next uh, Sunday. We'll be playing that. You um, should probably say which Prince of Persia, because they were all Yeah, because I'm either really excited or like really disappointed, depending on what you say next. The one that's called Prince of Persia. I, I, I there's more than one of those. There's not the first one. Isn't, there's, isn't, and not the Dreamcast 3D. One. I think there's not at least the three. I think there's one. at least three Prince of Persia's. The 2008. The NES, we're talking about the NES one, right? No. <laughs> 2008. Yeah. Anyway, so join us then. Uh, we'll be playing that. Um, and this Thursday, um, I will be continuing my uh, Final Fantasy 13 stream, as well as showing um, something from Getting the Car Loser. I haven't figured it out yet, but it should be fun. Uh, so yeah, uh, this time Sunday for Prince of Persia and um, Thursday for um, more Falsy. What time will you be starting at? Um, I'll be starting mine at around 4.30 on Thursday and, and we'll be Eastern doing- that's Eastern time. Yes, and we'll be doing this late. And I think the Steam sale is still going on. So if you want to pick up any of our games, links are in the thing below. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us. Good night.